And I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. Who are you? I've got news for you. You are mine now. You belong to me. What's up, everybody? It's Jez7780 here with the uh, 11. Got over a 1,000 views. Thank you so much. Uh, everybody likes Booster. We like Booster here. Nobody likes Booster, actually. But you guys like Booster content. But anyway, we will be moving forward. And uh, thank you again for that support. And uh, yes, everybody, welcome. We got two huge guests. Been trying to get them on for a while. Both of them. And I definitely encourage you to go listen to their shows. And we're definitely, you know, he comes from almost, he's, he's a grinder too, because speak from the heart. That's what I do. Here he is, Mr. Jay Barry. Welcome to the Gaming Grindhouse. Yo, what's good, Jez, man? Appreciate the invite once again. Uh, we finally made it. You know what I mean? We are here. Long hair, don't care. I got the best list on YouTube, and we about to grind some gears, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Let's then, get it, man. Let's get it. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Awesome. And then we have another one who speaks as part of Speak from the Heart as well, but has his own voice, and that is Persona. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, really good to be here. Uh, shout out to you, Jasmine. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Um, gaming with Persona, and um, I'm happy to be here and uh, talk about the topics tonight. It's gonna be a good show. Oh, no problem, man. We got the, the gaming grindhouse is rocking, and then early coming in early. Link usually jumps on when he sees that grinds table when I pull up the grinds board. But Link, what's up, man? How you doing? I knew it's spicy topics. He wanted to get in on, on this. Oh, yeah, uh, nothing much, man. I'm just uh, just hopping in and uh, gonna enjoy the show. Thank you, man. Thank you. Shout out to all the grinders. Here we go. What we got, man? We had Buck Rogers, Zeal Black. Neil Augusto, Nick is rocking. Nick is going crazy. Nick, those fingers, man. Woo, he's he's yelling at me the whole time in the what in the grind board. He was yelling at me on the chat. Dylan Rafferty, what's up? Nick is going crazy, man. He's Nick. Oh man, he's like, where am I? He's, yo, he was coming at me, man. Oh shit. So who's this? Wait, I gotta. Oh man, you know what? I gotta move this thing to this side. Sorry, grinders. Some technical difficulties with the chat. I gotta see what the hell I'm doing here. Hold on. There we go. Yes, hit that like button. That's right. Who's that? Slick SC. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? And Buck and Jamal King. Yo. Yeah, Nick, there's Nick. He's in LOL. Black Metal Gamer, what's up? Up Chick. Up Chuck Gaming. Gadget. Yo, coming on in. So, first thing I want to talk about, as you know, here at the Gaming Grind, as we talk about what we've been doing, what we've been playing. First, I'd like to just go right down the list and we'll say, hey, Jay Barry, what have you been playing? Wait, before I get into that uh, jazz, man, uh -oh. beautiful uh, intro. This is actually the first time I ever catch your intro on your show, man. You know and I mean, I always usually like catch it around midtime when you're in it's talking. Uh, you and Link, I see always Link, see Link uh, in the show. But seeing the intros, I always know you do the Arnold uh, impressions and the voice clips too, man. But now actually seeing it in the, in the intro, that was dope. No, oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I got the Arnold's lives are here. I also got Gordon Ramsay every time we talk about Jim Ryan because he looks like goddamn Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I got yeah. him. But yeah, Arnold lives on the grinds board. But yes, thank you. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the games I'm playing, I am playing a very. Can we curse on here or no? Yeah. It's a grind house, a very, man. <laughs> playing a very dog shit game called Badland Wonderworld. Oh, I heard this um, like the worst oh, platform yeah. ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's it's a it's a horrible game, but 
you know, I support it because I like the developer, you know what I mean? But they just made a bad one here, man. This is a bad game. It got a lot of charm to it, but the gameplay sucks. Oh, man. Uh, um, also playing some Persona 5 Royal. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? Grinding through that. Um, almost close to finishing it. And then um, also going back, I was playing some Yeez. Oh, yeah. Nine as well on my on my nightmare run, uh, running through that. Of course, you know, like Avengers and stuff like that. I went back to Diablo three as well, man. Oh, wow. I miss playing Diablo three. I was I was playing that, grinding up a little bit with my monk, and uh, that's pretty much it, man. I've just been going back and forth in games, and uh, have been having a good time. Other than Badland Wonder World, my yeah, review I'm coming right out for that now, game too Badland because. Oh. That's that's a that's a that's a developer I love and Square Enix I'm a I'm a huge Square Enix like fanboy, but that's a game. Uh, <laughs> it does it, it is what it is. But you know it is. No, All we right. keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep it moving. We got we gotta keep that moving. He's like, put this thing away. That's... This is not worth it. <laughs> Otto just came in and said, put this thing away. Not worth it. Yo, what, yo, Persona, what have you been playing? Hey man, yeah. So for me, uh, I've been playing that game, which is everyone's suddenly favorite game because it's on a specific service, Outriders. Oh, uh, been putting a lot of time into that. that. Um, really enjoying it too, man. It's it's really fun, really addictive, actually. Um, and I'm really having a lot of fun with it. My only issues have been just the uh, the server issues. Um, yeah. Also, so another game that I that just very close to my heart is Destiny Two. So I've been playing that pretty hardcore uh, for for a long time now, but uh, I've been doing like the raids and stuff. I'm chasing a specific gun in the new Deepstone Crypt raid, which is part of Beyond Light, and the name of the gun is called the Eyes of Tomorrow, which is uh, the new rocket that's in the game. So I've been chasing that, and it's a random drop. And then uh, you know Avengers as well. I'm playing through the uh, Hawkeye story, mm -hmm. and um, which like Hawkeye, that. the girl so, or the guy? Uh, Hawkeye, not uh, Kate Bishop. Okay. Kate Bishop was the girl. Yeah, the guy yeah. is a uh, Hawkeye. So I've been playing through uh, his storyline and, and just playing, trying to level him up and, and get him up because he's going to be my new uh, secondary to uh, Miss Marvel. And mm -hmm. then I'm finishing up Yeez 9 as well, my first playthrough. Um, so I'm on Chapter 7. So I got to finish that up. So that's, that's something that I've kind of been dabbling into here and there to uh, get through the rest of those chapters. Nice. Yo, what's up, Meds? How you doing, man? Yo, uh, yeah, so wait, uh, I want to say personal. So about the, um, yeah, it's meds. What's up, man? Yo, uh, what the, uh, you were saying about the, uh, outright. So you said the servers are working right now. They're, they're better now. Cause I know that they've been, they've been on and up, up and down there. And then the other thing yeah. I want to ask you too, is that you, oh, God, what was that second? You said you were playing, oh, the Avengers. How, didn't you realize how he moves so much different than she does? Like, I kind of like Kate's movement better than his. Like he's slower. Than she is. Yeah, I, he, I, lo I love. Kate. I, 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 Kate, like, yeah, Kate's itself. movement is is. You know what it is with Kate's movement. It's it's definitely a lot better, and she can actually her linkage with some with a lot of her moves is a lot better too because you can use her intrinsic ability, which is kind of when uh, which auto homes next next to an enemy and like you can really yes. stand combo. Mm -hmm. So she's really good. But the thing that I like about Hawkeye is his uh, bow barrage ability, which is his whole uh, triangle. It's actually a lot better than hers because it, it homes into enemies. So I can like be doing a crazy combo and then whole triangle, which goes into the bow barrage, then use his intrinsic ability, which is a bow latches onto the enemy, whole triangle, and then go in and pretty much extend the combo, reset. It's, it's really It really is like a fighting game. So okay. I, I like Hawkeye a little bit more because his gadgets and what he has at, at his arsenal just fits a little bit more into my play style, like in terms of the healing. That, yes, the he has a healing that he can thing, do yeah. and things like that. Yeah. And then his um his ultimate ability, which is the uh homing arrow, where it, it homes in on enemies that you look at with your camera. Yeah. So it, it, it that's really strong as well. So uh, I, I do like Hawkeye just a little bit better than, than than Kate Bishop, but Kate Bishop movement wise, ability, her potential in game. It's 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 really really good as well. Kate 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 better Kate better. I was in shock because when I saw Kate, now, like, now Persona Persona was doing work with uh, Hawkeye though. Mm. See yeah. you know now the, the the thing is is like I just, that game again has so like I went through both campaigns I beat both campaigns and it's like after that yeah. I'm like done. And then the thing is, is like, I only play when the campaigns come with the characters and they needed to be having one a month or something like that for these, or you one every other month or something like that, because that's where that game is. Like, I can't, I don't see 
the grind in it. Like after, uh, and the problem is, is like a lot of the campaign missions are similar to the grind missions, where basically it's like take care of A and B and C, you know, do this, do that, and it's kind of like mm. you do that in the campaign, but then you all you just get cutscenes in between because the story is pretty good. Like I liked how they tied Kate's story into Hawkeye's story, and then Hawkeye kind of just yeah, ends yeah. there, and not no spoils and stuff, but like. It's interesting to see how they're going to tie in the other characters and just grow the Avengers team. Like, yeah, I, and I liked, I loved, I thought the campaign was pretty damn good in the Avengers game. You know, it was just yeah, yeah. I mean, e even uh, with uh, T'Challa when he comes this fall, that's that's oh, that's a storyline that I'm really excited yeah. about because you know uh, one of my favorite characters in Marvel Universe is Wolverine, mm -hmm. and I feel like with T'Challa, he's close enough to that Wolverine style where they'll make him like Wolverine. Because he uses his claws as well, yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I'm most excited to play with him. Um, but in terms of this story and like the grind, you know, I've always been into grinding, like mm -hmm. you know, in JRPGs and in looter shooters and things like that. So I think with with Avengers, I enjoy the grind because I enjoy playing with the characters, right? The combat. Like good. when me and Bari, yeah, when me and Bari were playing like super hardcore way back when the game first came out. Mm -hmm. We were just experimenting, like we would play for like hours and hours, get new loot and experiment with builds, plus the hive missions. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jez, you ain't Yo. you ain't touched the war table? Nah, well, no. What's the war? Yeah, the war table to add all the oh, extra, no, no, extra no. missions, right? The, all that. No, uh, no, yo, you're 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 you're, com you're coming with us. You're coming with us. Right. No, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> no, you're yeah, going to come with us. Because gonna... all I what? see is a bunch of. I don't like because it always says I'm higher. Like it says like plus five, plus nine, and it's just like you going. I'm going there, and it's the same robots, and just I haven't done the war table. Yeah, because oh, the, the, there's a there's a lot of Wait, enemies. Plus in the five, papers. plus nine. I mean, oh no, you you <laughs> yeah, you like, real real yeah, early, early in the end game. Early. Yeah, no, yeah. Dude, see, I'm wrong. Don't worry, I, it's, I gonna, it's gonna be plus twenty, plus fifty. So. Dude, see, like I, I stopped because I, I played the campaign and I was just like I looked and I went to see like if there was um any ra raids or any and and it was just all kind of the same stuff. And maybe it's just the oh, no, way you, the you gotta, are, you, gotta build up that. you gotta build up to that. Yeah, well, yeah, you, yeah. You, you got you definitely gotta build because in it you know in the early stages of endgame a lot of it is going to be a lot of repetition in terms yeah, of you trying to get, more, to trying to get more gear but when you when you get to the because there's a lot of iconic missions that you could do you, for got, all you the got characters, characters well. specific stories yeah, yeah specific. i wanted yeah. to do the whole one that was the one also I, wanted. The, I wanted to do his the, mission because his was cool character specific ones or got then one there's, then there's Black mega Widow. hives yeah, oh yeah the mega, mega hives, hives. Then the Omega Elite Hives. There's, the a lot, there's a lot of different oh, things. Damn, Hero, yeah, there's a lot of different things. Vault sectors, that. villains. I mean, uh, villain sectors. Like the and ultimate like hive is like it's like the raid you're looking for because oh, there's yeah, a lot they they raid. See, I didn't even but know they it's, had raids. Yeah, it's, it's only the you though too. Hard. Yeah, the uh, the elite one is only you. You can only bring you and like your AI teams. It's not oh. like co-op. So. It's, it adds to that challenge as well. It's it, yeah. There's there's Dude. a lot to do in a yeah, game, but like you know, the, the 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 thing is like you have to grind and up and get to it that. Evolves. So, um, that's okay. that's what it is. All right, it, well, it involves commitment. You got yeah. You see, that's like yeah. Right. I'm uh even though I'm a grinder, we have the grinders. I don't like grinding. Like <laughs> that's the thing. Like I'm not like if, <laughs> if, if I see the similar stuff, like I'm fighting the same things. I'm just going through the motions. I'm like in my head. I'm thinking about I could be doing something else or playing something else. Like that's like I'm just I'm mm. like very kind of as I'm grinding through something. Like just if if it the level like the thing that gets me about Avengers is that the the loot is not. I'm not a. I don't like the loot because, like, I like loot in Borderlands. Like that stuff keeps me going. Like that's the kind of loot. I'm not a fan of Destiny mm. stuff. Like the loot. Um, I think that's another kind of my time wasted. Even though I love the campaign, I played through the campaign. I played through the story stuff, and then I'm done. Even though I know that's not the the, the crux of the game. It's really that's just the intro. I was gonna to say the story is like that's just the beginning. That's a tutorial. Yeah, that's the beginning. I know. A See, lot of, for yeah. me, I'm yeah, done. A after lot the, more <laughs> after the fact. After that yeah. stuff, I'm done. I mean, I mean, with with with, with Avengers, oh, with the, Avengers, the, the, Avengers, the in Avengers is it's not like something where you just do a mission and you get a whole bunch, kind of like how Borderlands is. Yeah, Avengers really encourages you to really search the world when you're on missions because a lot of the loot that you're looking for i was in the chest in the chest ah, it's gotcha. in the chest so okay. it, it encourages exploration right because if you're if you're just going from point a point b to point c you may get one piece of armor for and that's for 
from completing the mission. But if you go through all the loot chests, you'll be getting legendaries, exotics. You can leave out of a mission with 10 pieces of armor. Uh, so they're know, not like, drops. Of, of variations of armor and things like that. No, it's not It's not all drops. It's a lot of loot. it is in the in the chest. Gotcha. Yeah. Because okay. the, the, the loot in Avengers is really good, man. Like, it, it, it really, like, the leveling up in Avengers is smart. The loot is smart as well because you can create. I like some, to level them up because I like powerful the characters. Stuff. Yeah, in, in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because my, my uh, yeah, we were doing. I got the I best like level up and stuff game. like that. I do yeah. like to level the skills up, and then you get different abilities and stuff like that. Like I do because I said the combat's great. Like I think they did well with the characters and their abilities and stuff like that. So you know, maybe I'll roll with you guys on mm-hmm. that one. So Link, what have you yeah. been playing? Um, I just picked up Outriders today. I was having some issues trying to get actually on it. I was able to play it a little bit a little earlier. I'm, I'm actually on it right now, but uh, nice. Um, playing that a little bit. Um, what else was I playing? Um, uh, I was playing The Last of Us Part Two. I think I'm about to start another playthrough on that. Um, and uh, I did pick up Persona Strikers, but I ha- haven't started it yet, so I'm thinking about starting that. So. Okay. That's been about it. I started that myself. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I've been doing uh I've been doing some Crash Bandicoots. I've been playing that, going through Crash, you know, almost done finished that one. And then I've been Crash uh, Four? Yeah, Crash Four. Crash Four. Okay. I picked okay. it up and it got mm-hmm. the PlayStation Five update. So uh, I picked that up. And then uh and I've been doing some crazy stuff. I've been getting this uh I got this thing here. And I'll just show a little image of yeah, PSP. Speaking of PSP, right? <laughs> really? Yeah, it does really? it pretty well. PSP games. Uh, and then I yeah, now it, it, comes pre- it, it, comes, it comes preloaded on there, or you? Yeah, they're on, no, they're preloaded on a sixty-four gigabyte card, and then you could. Um, oh, I wow. basically uh, basically put it on a one twenty-eight card, and uh, yeah, it works. Uh, it, it definitely it's small, what? and it has two thumbsticks, and it does play the PSP games pretty damn well. I'll tell you which games it has on the PSP. Hold on. I was going to try to set my webcam, but I didn't have time today. But I will do this uh, thing. Yo, it is, it, it's 100 bucks. I got it on Amazon. Ooh, Amazon what? has it. Amazon has it. It's called the RG351P. It's Amber, Amber Nick. I'm showing really? it right now. Yeah. It's an emulation station. It runs a lot of software. Nintendo DS. It has MAME. Uh, you know, so it has all those games. It has Capcom games, all the Street Fighters, all that stuff. And then it has Nintendo, Game Boy, Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64, hey, Game Boy I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Genesis, yeah. <laughs> Game Gear, Mega Drive, Dreamcast, Neo Geo. Now, again, the high end, it has PlayStation OG on it, too. I'll tell you which ones it has. It has, like, Capcom. It has um, Dino Crisis 2, Driver 2. I was playing Driver 2. Remember how horrible that game was, Driver 2? Drive oh, my God. Oh, Driver 1 oh. was awesome. Driver 2, man, I've been yeah. glitched out of the world. It was so bad. Uh, what Final Fantasy is this? What was, that, what was that driving game with, like, the silver car? It was like this cool. It was like cool ass. Oh, Spy car. Hunter? Nah, it no. Was it Spy Hunter? I don't know. Yeah, Sp- that's what it was. Is Spy Hunter with the silver that's car? Yeah. Yo, yeah, I remember that game, was. man. Yo, the, the box art looked cool. I was like, this car looks cool as hell. Play that game. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna see how this works right now. I'm gonna see Spider Man Two on the PlayStation One. Let me see if this thing works. So it comes preloaded, probably like the, that's why the 64 uh, Enter Electro. Yeah, I think I was playing this thing before. Yeah, but hold, I'll tell you what the PSP games it has. Then it has, uh, yeah, and then you, and you cool. can add your own. You could add your own from ROMs and stuff. I'm not going to give you no links or anything like that. But it, uh, it got uh, Bomberman, Castlevania X, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Vice City Stories, uh, which that was incredible. Oh my God. Hot Shots Golf, which I was playing that. Uh, Mega Man X, uh, Ridge Racer. And uh, Pro Evolution Soccer of 2011. <laughs> Dude, I want to tell you one thing, and, and I know it's going to be a topic with the MLB, but. Uh, the thing I played the most on my PSP was the show. That is the game because it looked so awesome and so smooth. The animations were ridiculous on the PSP for the MLB The Show. Uh, I played that so much on my PSP. Like I was on the taking the train and stuff. But yeah, this thing emulates everything. Neo Geo Pockets, like it does everything. I would definitely uh, go on Twitter, go on uh, uh, Amazon. They sell a whole bunch of them. They're about a hundred bucks. So, stereo speakers, you can put your own card in there, and uh, yeah, and has that, that D pad. That D pad looks a little sus though, but uh, I like the analog. Clicky. No, it's good. I will tell you, it's clicky. It's pretty Wait, good. What's the name of this thing again? It's called the uh, Am- Amber Nick 
uh a n b e r n i c nick that's the the people who make it and then it's called the you want to make sure you get the rg 351p there's an m which has hdmi out but the p has a higher processor on it they also just came out with the v which basically looks like a game boy and it's a vertical one with a bigger higher resolution screen however it does not have the second analog stick and it looks a little uncomfortable because mm-hmm. the shoulder buttons are actually okay, behind RG. the screen. RG three five one P. You want the P. P as in Peter, or as in Phil. Phil Spencer. God damn it, Phil Ness. <laughs> P as in Phil Ness. <laughs> there you Lee go. Spence. It doesn't do NES. <laughs> yes, it does do NES. Yes, NES, Super NES. Oh, it does. Um, uh, and then it does meme. Right. So, so how so how Nintendo come at Soldier Boy, but they ain't come at this company? What's dude, going yeah, on, I was man? gonna say this is hey, man. Uh, little... Nintendo, Nintendo. What's going on? <laughs> Mario's dead. It's over. <laughs> Never mind. It's over. The Mario lives on 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 emulation devices. But yeah, it's it's a uh, it's no. It's cool is because you could do this stuff a lot of it, and now it runs on Linux. So it's not um, it's actually a Linux uh. It, it run, there's an Android version called the Pocket Something Two or something like that. There's a lot. There's a YouTube guy that like you know talks all about this and tells you how to set it up. But it's totally customizable. And you know I put like Simpsons on here. You could play WrestleFest. That's the b- f- first game that I, I wanted. But uh, I'll do a review. I'll definitely cover it on here. But yeah, there's tons of games and I've been adding some games to it because you know on my channel I also use the Pandora's box, which that is the double stick arcade thing and you could plug that into your thing and that has like it's got thousands of games too on it and that's another thing but this one's a portable one and it gives you about a good man it, i tell you it, it has some good what is the, let me see it has some good sound on it it's loud as hell and uh but this is like a portable i tell you it looks great I, i'm like i'm really i carry this around me man smaller than I my I phone check it out yeah it's yeah. small it's, than uh, my phone. it's rechargeable yeah yep USB C rechargeable mm. And it uses a, a micro SD. And then the thing is that it doesn't come with built-in Wi-Fi. So it actually, um, you could buy a little USB dongle and a USB stick, a USB, um, a USB C dongle, and you put it in top. And then what it can, it does, it, if when you add games, it could scrape the internet and grabs images for your games and stuff like that. Also, it could get over-the-air updates, and you could also transfer games wirelessly with the wireless adapter. Otherwise, you could just keep taking the the, the SD card out. Is there but you can load ROMs on the SD card, and then everything runs off the SD card. Yeah, and there's a pretty straightforward oh, way of copying okay. it. Yeah, and What's a micro SD, a, a micro SD card. So I put a 128 in here. Mm, so okay, but yeah, it has uh, Alien vs. Bar- yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it ha- it, I, and I'll show you if I could show you in motion with the lists. Hope you can read it this time. There we go. So we got the grinds board up here. Yes, thank you again, everybody. Hit that like button. Share it out. We got the list of topics tonight. This evening, we have Outriders, the servers and the sales. We've been talking about Outriders. We have Spider-Man's new suit, and he got some muscles, which that's pretty damn. It was pretty awesome. Games with gold, or fool's gold, as we'll call it. So you can pretty much guess the quality of that stuff. PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now, what they just dropped, those games, the subscription wars that we're in. And these these last this last two topics will probably be the grind stable where we'll go into MLB the show launching on Game Pass and we'll get into the nitty gritty as that. But as for the Outriders, you guys have already been talking about um, how Outriders has been doing, uh, and you know if you like it and stuff. For me personally, Outriders, I wasn't a fan of it. I wasn't a fan of the demo, um, and and you know I I know that's another kind of grindy game. I, I just couldn't get over the way the characters look, the way. <laughs> Dude, it looks, it looks like a poor man. You talking about in the, in yeah. the demo or in the uh, in the? Does it game? look that much better in the game than than the demo, Outriders? Yeah, yeah, honestly, it, it does. Yeah, like the yeah things from things from the issues from the demo, like the uh, the skipping during cutscenes, the the desynchronization of the voices when they talk, mm. um, the. Uh, the way they looked like where like there was like this weird almost like they looked hollow in certain scenes and things like that a lot of that stuff is fixed in the full game the, oh, okay. a, a lot of the stuff is fixed yeah it looks a lot better uh the only issue i have or and i don't know if this is really an issue or not but the lighting in this game is kind of weird so 
if you do get the game in certain sections of the game, like scenes or, or uh, in the game where there's dark areas or it's a dark setting, the game will actually the, the games will actually be a little bit too dark where you can't really mm. see or it'd be too light in certain areas. So you actually have to put the brightness like all the, well for me, I had to put it all the way up because uh, certain scenes, again, you wouldn't see nothing because the lighting is just so weird. Um, so that's like something to be mindful of. But in terms of like how it looks and things like that, it's, it's, they def- it's definitely a step up. Nice. And and can you put, oh, yeah, I just lost my chat box. Where did it go? Grinders. But what about the, um, and you can't play it if it's offline. Like when the servers are down, like no. you can't do it, right? You can't play it. No, no, you, no, you can't. Hmm. No, yeah, Which... but like uh, there was a couple times for me um, on Saturday, actually, I had finished a mission and I beat the boss. And then as soon as I walked out the boss area, it kicked me off. It said Internet connection into inter- error or something like that. Oh, while you're playing? And then, yeah, in the middle of me, like as soon as I finished killing the boss, that happened. And then when I logged back in, they my mission progress didn't save. So I had to start the mission all over again. So and then so when is- I and then when I completed the mission the second time, uh, when I was choosing my reward after I was handed the mission into the to the NPC, it kicked me off again. Really? <laughs> so so what is yeah. the reason for this game just requiring an internet connection if you just want to play single player? Uh, I I would assume because it is an always online game, right? That's an online world, um, and it's got uh, drop in drop out. Uh, multiplayer co-op so uh you can before you start a mission you can choose to join in on somebody else's already existing party you can choose to uh Mm -hmm. play in somebody else's world like if they're playing story or something like that there's options Mm -hmm. for you to just join in and just play with somebody else like randoms um but that you can also have that option for yourself as well where it can be uh open and like whenever you start a new mission uh, I believe you can like match make with that mission with other people that may be trying to play that mission as well. Okay. And have you been playing with somebody? You've been playing by yourself? No, I've been I've been playing solo because yeah. I'm I'm going through the story. Uh, yeah, uh, it's really fun. It, it's it's for me for me at least it's a really really fun game. Like I because like I said I, I'm a big fan of Gears. I do enjoy Gears. because yeah. that's what reminds me of totally. Has, yeah. Yeah. No. You know, no. It's definitely. You're gonna feel right at home, especially if you play a lot of gears, because the movement, uh, cover to cover, uh, even the guns, like using the shotties and stuff like that, it feels very gears like, which it's it it's fun, right? Uh, but also I, I have to give it to them with the AI, especially when you go into the higher tiers of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, the AI is actually very aggressive. It's not like you know how a lot of games, especially cover cover style games, they'll just stay in cover. And just shoot, 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 right. and like they no, just these guys come at you. I remember from the demo. Like no, they, yeah, 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 yeah. No, they, they, especially when you go into the higher tier worlds. Oh yeah, they, they come after you. Even the dudes with the guns, like they'll keep moving up and move in and out of cover and like run up on you. Like especially if you stay in real stationary for a long time, they'll surround you. And then they also have the melee dudes that all are always just they're like think of them as like suicide bombers just without the bombs. Yeah, and they're running out at you. Yeah, and they're they, they're you know they, they, they keep you moving cover. around. Yeah, yeah, they no, don't they, they don't cover. No. Now no, the thing is, it, I have here fun. is with the um. So here we'll do the display. And sorry guys, the text on the chat. I was just making sure the chat showed up, but I think I, I'll edit it for the next time. But uh, at least you guys can see your chat. Sorry if it's the smaller text, but I don't want to mess that up and derail the podcast trying to fix the text size. But here, uh, yo, this is the thing. The retail figures came out today. Uh, all over the weekend mm-hmm. about it, and uh, yeah, well, it was yesterday. And they're saying, uh, and they believe this is Europe because you know they're the only ones that report sales now, like you know weekly or sales. So they have um, the PS5. The breakdown here is PS5 sold 52 percent, PS4 sold 31 percent, and Xbox Series consoles sold 17 percent um, of mm-hmm. of Outriders. And we know that Outriders, as we spoke about a lot in the show, and uh, here let me zoom in a little bit. As we spoke about, mm-hmm. Outrise was one of the first games that, you know, that kind of broke the mold to Game Pass having uh, a triple A-S game in the in the subscription day and day mm-hmm. and date. And, you know, and now we get into the bigger thing that we're going to get into with the MLB, the show, you know, with this whole kind of purchase shaming and, you know, spending $60 now is like, you know, we'll get into it. But 
Hey, 52%. Yeah, now, we know the install base. The thing is I want to point out, guys, is look at it's the the, the install base of 52% bought the game on – and and it's also selling like crazy, too, on Steam. Um, mm -hmm. And look mm -hmm. who's trailing in. <laughs> 17% <Like, laughs> yeah. on – listen to him. And, and this yeah. is the th another thing that I think people people just forget. Microsoft has selling two consoles. This is a two mm -hmm. versus one situation here because these are two different consoles. One for the lower price consumer at three hundred. They got them. They beat you under a hundred dollars, so they're three hundred dollars, the lowest, and five hundred dollars, which is equal to the PlayStation Five. Two consoles are in the market right now for Xbox. This is saturation of consoles, but nobody acknowledges that we're talking about a series, a team of Philip mm -hmm. versus one PlayStation 5 right. that has two different versions of it, but it's mm -hmm. one PlayStation 5 console. It's not a two different consoles. Yeah. Anyways, 17%. Kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, I can. It's, I can. It, it's on my. Um, I have a Game Pass subscription. I paid the dollar whenever. <laughs> they did that deal or whatever to turn your gold over. It's for three and years, I, right? That's I, what everybody right. has. That's and why everybody's like, capital. I was kind of, I was kind of iffy on this game, you know. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. So I went ahead and bought it on PlayStation. I haven't played it. I could have played it with the Game Pass, whatever subscription, but I just decided to go ahead and um, and it doesn't have cross progression, so that was yeah. another reason why I wanted to go ahead and buy it on PlayStation. So, um. Yeah, I, I wasn't. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, too, like uh, with Game Pass there being day one, a lot of people won't buy the game. Right. Yeah. So I can, yeah. I can definitely see the mm -hmm. Xbox lagging behind. But like I said earlier before, uh, I forgot who I responded to on Twitter. Regardless of Game Pass or not, Xbox is always lagging behind the sales. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, and we'll talk about that because I brought that up in my other thing and my other show. But we'll talk about that because I want to talk about MLB. And actually, outright is like both of them together because we'll talk about that. Yeah, cause cause like, everybody like to focus in. Oh, because the Game Pass, Game Pass. But yeah, you remember when Game Pass wasn't there? Xbox was still like yeah, 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 yeah. But remember, yeah, but remember, Game Pass was making people buy more and play more. Remember when Sea of Thieves launched mm -hmm. and people were buying? And it's like, look at Sea of Thieves sold number two, so people are buying more because of Game Pass. That's horse shit. Because that was yeah. a see if these people already like had that locked in to buy, and then they flipped the switch and said it's in Game Pass. And I think Outrise is something similar. Then that's the other thing too. You got to realize, Outrise similar to MLB, but Outrise was announced about a week or two before, two weeks before mm -hmm. it launched that it's going in Game Pass. And and I want and I brought that up a couple of well, times. Then, like you know, how is that a effective way of like having people pre order a game and then two weeks before if they have Game Pass cancel it. Same you know, MLB. Yeah, well, they do both think, of them. I, I think also the Outriders itself had a really bad reception, uh, public public perception, mm -hmm. and a lot Most of people suck. were were are we we allowed the curse on the show, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of people were shitting on the game and shitting on the demo because they, you know the demos were laggy. It was a lot of you know things messed up and things like that. Um. So, you know, a lot. I, I, I feel like. Even if it wasn't in Game Pass, those sales were definitely going to be on the low end, especially on Xbox. Mm -hmm. But I think the fact that it did go into Game Pass, that 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 definitely like <laughs> a lot of people are. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to because I'm a lot of people are on the fence about it anyway. So I, I'm I'm really not surprised that mm -hmm. Xbox is lagging because, like Mark said, uh, all of Generation Eight, but with PS4 and Xbox, you know, Xbox was lagging behind in terms of third party, you know. Yeah, third party game sales. All of them so show it, right? Ubisoft, no surprise here. Right, remember when they yeah, show the breakdown true. of their yeah. game sales or where they are? E even games they had marketing deals with yeah. were selling more on PlayStation. The install so bases. Division, Division, Division. Battlefield yep. games. Yep. What they yep. Yep. They all and when it was marketing for FIFA, the and places just snatched that back. <laughs> oh, it wasn't selling that much on FIFA. Yep. Yeah, so it's not, it's not and this is the beginning of the last gen, so I don't want to hear the PlayStation was slumping the sales as far as consoles. So it's the beginning of the gen. They were still was a buy no games. What about yeah. the PS4 at 31%, still being the next gen <laughs> console by two, almost two. 31 and that's the only on thing. I, I think that number, I think that PS5 number would be even higher for the UK 
had there been a larger stock of PS5s, we're talking. So yeah. I would even willing to argue that I would. I would expect the PS5 number to be higher yet, because it's still it's still early in the gen. We only four what four months in the generation mm-hmm. compared no, to a console that's been out for higher. all them years. Yeah, yeah, yeah even yeah. if the, even if the stock was high, I don't think it would have been higher than uh yeah the PS4. Mm-hmm. I do mm-hmm. think that um and and you know I think they're both gonna start announcing the financials, but you know Sony talks about console sales, and I think that. There since Sony and and I think um Sony's been, I, it's so funny because if we go back a year ago to this time I w- I was going to PAX East you now this COVID shit still started, and Sony was silent Sony didn't do anything man and Microsoft was on Twitter rubbing their nipples with twelve T flops on each one they had Richard Ledbetter come out play with magnets they brought him brunch they had the guy with the beard rubbing his balls all that kind of stuff and everybody was like <laughs> Sony scared Microsoft did it the twelve teraflops and I we're sitting here going like Sony has some games coming up but like like Microsoft is just dominating this kind of next gen conversation that they were ready and Sony wasn't. Just think about a year ago and then think about how that ended up where the tools are still coming. We're missing tools. Tim the Tool Man Taylor doesn't have them. We're waiting for his ass. And uh, they didn't have any launch lineup at all. They still don't have a next gen game from their first party studios or any game from their first party studios coming anytime soon. Everybody keeps crazy. forgetting that Halo is got delayed a year, not a couple of months to fix a little bit of chest hair on Craig. No, a fucking year. Okay. Yo, but Jazz, this is what I've been telling people that Microsoft is doing a great job uncovering. Yes, their I heard you say that. I was like, Yo, exactly. People, dude. people are buying five hundred dollar consoles, but has nothing to show for it. But the the, the, the the deals that Game Pass is doing, everybody. That's why everybody's talking about. It's, so everybody's negating the actual flaw with this console this console has been out for four months and not one first party next gen game has been shown on the console yet it's an yeah. issue huge issue it's for huge. all these studios but yet everybody just you know, put sweep it under the rug because game pass deals oh my know? god and bethesda yeah. deal they sat around and did a circle jerk man pass. that took up a month of entertainment of and then what did they get yeah. from it uh no games, like we didn't talk about any games. Stay tuned, and, and they circle jerked each other. But talking about Bethesda because they signed the ink like a WWE and goddamn what, contract. What people, deal. what people are doing now with PS Five? They actually oh, PS Five. PS Five had a great launch, but what they have now, like everybody's talking about what they have now. <laughs> what have now. you been doing on Xbox? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. They but, got nothing but, now. But, the, but people act like PlayStation still doesn't have a ton of games that have been released. Well, that's like PlayStation's not right? doing well. Like, like, some of the, Persona, the best, Persona. Yeah, PlayStation. Let me ask you this, Persona. Go Last ahead. generation, what was people always saying about the Xbox One, uh, on why they bought an Xbox One over a PS4? Uh, you know, day one. Uh, uh, it, was the exclu- it was the launch exclusives. The lo- exactly right. They was talking about a launch for for a damn year. Yo, the yeah, launch yeah. man is better. Oh my god. Yo, PlayStation. Probably the best launch we ever seen from PlayStation, but yet these dudes are talking about, well, you know, those games came out four. So you telling me you play all those games within four months? Like, come, yo, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, and and when you look at the PlayStation Five, you know, the PlayStation Five has had the this is one of their best launch lineups, like ever. Oh my god! So and then you go for you know we fast forward four or five months, like to where we are now, six months or whatever, and look at what we've gotten and what we're about to get. Like the onslaught is is, is coming, it's insane. right, and that's it, with it, PlayStation yeah. Four and PlayStation. But look 5. what happened, man! Look what happened last year. The onslaught that that one July show from Sony shook everything and negated everything <laughs> that Microsoft did until that show. All that uh-huh. talk, all the little wins with the twelve T flops, the the our DNA built in, and and Phil Ness rubbing his nipples again, rubbing nipples every day. Twitter, Aaron Greenberg, everybody, all these battles, and you just kind of roll your eyes, going, "Oh my God, would they just shut the fuck up? Please stop tweeting out bullshit, hyping up game game pass. Just make the fucking games, dude. Make the games. You bought studios. Let's talk about it. And then when they show the games." They were apologizing. Craig meme came like it just like when it came to the games, they fell flat on their face. The optics were looking at assholes. That's what it was. Optics of well, assholes uh, because they uh, crashed. The, 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 the other thing that people need to like really wrap their head around too is you know we're not you know just take away the Bethesda deal. 
we've been waiting for three plus years oh, from their God, re- the, their previous deal when they had acquired seven studios with Ninja Theory, created the initiative of Obsidian and all of that. We really hadn't gotten anything from that. Like, yeah, Obsidian released Outer Worlds, fine. But really, you know, we're not really seeing the fruits of that labor yet. Right, we still haven't seen hey, uh, Hellblade two. Yeah, out of world oh, process dude. before the. Uh... Well, that's what, out of worlds is not even them. I, the I, I, they didn't even publish out of worlds. They just bought them while the game was coming out. That's one of the films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know? yeah. But, you know, no, the... from I'm gonna tell you, from their studio purchases in 2018, you have Bleeding Ass and Obs- and, and Obsidian's game of finding uh, finding uh, the the midgets, the the the, the world. What are they called? The goddamn grounded. Uh, oh, grounded. At, at the end of the day, preview you gotta give game cool. of grounded with the bees and mosquitoes that they added. Uh, you you got to give kudos to Xbox, man, because they're put, they're they're they're, they're uh, showing you treasure chests of controllers. They're telling yeah. you that you know, <laughs> they make everything mini under fridges, the sun. Dude? Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass, and yo, people are really ignoring the fact that yo, I just bought a five hundred dollar console. Nothing from the first party studios is showcasing anything on this console. With it, so Halo's gonna come out what November? So uh, dude, we don't even year. know, dude. We don't even know. All I know is that they're doing bitch blog posts about the fucking music. Like they need to. You need to show Craig, and you need to show Halo. Do you need to show? I said Craig has to come out looking like the fucking Bee Gees. He needs to have the chest hair going hee hee and coming out with his fucking I, all the chest hair and all the hair because he was a hairless Craig. He was a freaking like one of those Siamese cats, that, the bitches. Well, that, is a, that is a whole year that you're waiting for a first dude, party. He's like a fucking exclusive. chia pet. He's like a fucking chia pet. You got to water his ass. <laughs> <laughs> nobody nobody bring that stuff up because you no. know game game pass and controllers and dude and, all that and stuff. this is the thing so this is a derailment of my grinds board but i i got this image here because you know one thing i gotta say about the diehard xbox dudes is they know how to make marketing material uh better than fucking microsoft does so this image here this thing i saw they said look at this look what phil did Xbox 2013, the studios, and then look at Xbox 2021. And in Xbox One, they had Connect Bundle, DRM Blunders, Focus on TV, $500, which the thing's $500 now. I don't know why that's a big deal now. $100 more than and less power than the PlayStation. Oh, they're admitting that. Okay, so that's good. And they got the studios, 343, the Coalition, Rare, Turn 10, and stuff. Now in 2021, no TV, no Connect. 300 and 500 cheapest and most powerful consoles commitment to compatibility fps boost booster and auto hdr game pass shit the house fly that doesn't fucking die expense expands across devices pc and mobile streaming streaming because you know playstation now is trash because they're streaming but that's a, a win for microsoft because you can stream to a five inch phone with a strap on and a goddamn controller now look at all the studios they bought the one thing that I don't see a comparison on, and we want to talk Deltas. I hear people talk about fucking Deltas. Why don't we talk about fucking Deltas of games? That's what I want to see. I don't see one fucking thing on here about games. I don't see anything, because you want to know what? In 2013, with these bitch-ass studios here, we had Rise, Dead Rising 3, Titanfall, Killer Instinct, then yeah. Sunset Overdrive. Whoa! You, you you had you had first party exclusive games launching with even that second game, party wheeling right. and dealing. I don't give a shit what they had. They had games in 2013. In 2021, what do you have? Look at that list of bitches. What do you have? <laughs> Bleeding ass. You don't even have it in 2021. You got shit. You got nothing. You got the PC games that went to con- to PC, and then right, you got so Gears Tactics right. at the end because they needed to do a hand me out. That's what you got in 2021. You get nothing. You get 20. Then you got a, a quote unquote Halo is coming. When's Halo coming? We don't know. Got one fucking game. But you're talking about launch of 2013 and 2021. The difference is, is that the studios, yeah, they didn't have a lot of studios. But the games, I counted five games on my hand that they had within the release window. Sunset Overdrive, I know, came out a year later. Fine. Whatever. But they had games. All right. In 2021 and 2020, with the launch of these two amazing, the cheapest and most powerful console, where the fuck are the games? Oh, but they got mini fridges, bitch. And this is the thing that I'm just looking at this, and I'm like, if you were an Xbox fan, if you're an Xbox fan like I was, 
2013 was good. Yeah, you know what? They messed up on the DRM blunders. They messed up on on all the. I didn't give a shit about the TV and entertainment. I yelled at my Xbox. Xbox, turn on. Xbox, record that. I was fine. I was playing games. I bought the Series X. I stared at it for a month, going, "Uh, well, uh I guess I'll try Halo Five again." That's a horrible launch. Remember. Do you remember that Microsoft had to hit it out of the park? They had to hit it out of the park, everybody. There was, there was, this was do or die. I remember there were like three, do or die, do or die. Well, they're fucking dead. And now they have ghosts of fucking whatever they're trying to do to, to salvage Game Pass subscribers. Because I'm telling you right now, these MLB and other things are basically, there's this shit going down, okay? I want to see some more consistency. These are nice moves. But are these ninja and shroud moves for a dying mixer? Or are these smart moves that they are building upon? Or are these are kind of last ditch efforts, throw money, put money down the stripper's pants, maybe she'll rub your ass in the back. Is that what this is? I don't know. Well, we also gotta we also gotta acknowledge that like one thing I'll give uh like Mark said, I'll, I'll give Xbox credit for. They are like lullabying their fans and consumers oh. to sleep, bro. Right? Mm. Cause I've never seen like people be this oblivious or <laughs> right you know willfully oblivious to mm -hmm. the obvious you know what i'm saying uh you ain't getting nothing <laughs> <laughs> you know you haven't gotten nothing for a while and you know playstation is about to get an onslaught of games and yes, the rebuttal sure. is game pass <laughs> yeah i know. You know and it's just i saw this thing and i'm like you know what i can understand how you look at that and I, and Microsoft has they they they're very keen on using the lube and you are just kind of like like they they're basically the um the wizard of oz the guys like you, you see them talking their shit which means that they don't have anything but he's like don't mind me the the wizard of oz don't mind the man behind the curtain and the thing uh -huh. is is like guys if you look at it, yes, the MLB thing is a great. I think it's a great move, and I said it. And you'll respect that, that they did that move. And whatever Phil did, he had to rub the MLB's nuts or whatever the hell he's rubbing over there with his nipples. He did the deal. And you know what? I think it's a great deal. He did the Outriders deal. He did the deal. But the thing is, is that it doesn't take away from what they have been doing over the last years and what they have coming. This is the thing where it's like, all this stuff is little W's, you know? And the thing is, mm -hmm. is, like, they really need to to demonstrate. I, I can't believe how Halo has become this back burner thing and nobody else is concerned about it. It's free-to-play multiplayer that we have yet to see. And I just don't understand why this is. I, I don't. And you said it, guys. Like, you have games like. And then maybe they're good and maybe they're bad, but you got you got games at least like Returnal and Ratchet and Clank. They're mm -hmm. coming out. Then you got games like that they showed already with with uh, exclusive games like Final Fantasy 16 and things like that. Like they got and Death Loop. Death yeah, Death Loop. Talk about Bethesda. Mm -hmm. Death Loop. Death Loop. Like <laughs> I, I, and the fact is, these games may not be bangers. They may not be what it is. But you want to know what the thing is? Is that they exist and they're coming out soon. When the hell's Halo coming yeah. out? Yo, what uh, Xbox guy asked me today, he's like, so what PlayStation got coming out? I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you have the audacity? You have the audacity to oh. ask that question right now as an Xbox fan? Really? I, I do. I'm t but I'm telling you, they are doing... Uh, uh, the one thing I do have to say, and, and this is the one thing that, that they do do, is that they are really good with marketing and making it seem like the the ship is not sinking, like like they're, they're playing the band at the Titanic. Not well, to say that they're going out of business, but they're really good at at kind of being like, oh look at this, like you know. And everybody's just like, oh yay yay. And meanwhile, it's like the obvious there. It's like, where's the production from Microsoft? Like where is it? Like, and and the reason why I brought this up and shout out to Froggy, what's up, man? The thing is, is that because Froggy doesn't like when I talk about Xbox bad. He's, you know, he thinks that uh, he doesn't like it. But what I want to say is the reason why I'm talking about that, that first party, Froggy, in case you came in late, was because of that image where it showed 2013 launch was, was better than the 2021 or 2020 that we had. And I'm showing that comparison. That's why I'm talking about first party. So in case you joined in later. But it's definitely the Game Pass. So the next thing I want to talk about before we get into the grinds, that was a derailment. But Spider-Man new suit and muscles. 
You know, and apparently those muscles are um, machine learning. Uh, Sony, I, I thought, you know, they don't have machine learning, but I don't know what the fuck machine learning is. I don't give a shit. Oh, I know it was a topic that they talked about last year. That was one of the, the, the rubs that they had last year when they couldn't shut up about the, the Xbox. But yeah. now Sony just shows it, his muscles, and they go, how did you do that? They go, machine learning, bitch. And everybody's like, ooh, they got machine learning. Did you see my Spider-Man's muscles? You guys see him? So, oh, man, never, never doubt the power of PlayStation. We, we, we have been listening <laughs> to these guys for a year bash playstation 5 saying it can't do this it can't do that it can't do ray tracing not hardware ray tracing is the first example of ray tracing on a next gen console it can't do machine learning but yet microsoft has not shown anything that's showcasing any type of machine learning like you know what i mean at the end of the day any 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 company can can talk about all of this and all of that but <laughs> As a gamer, you want you want to see it showcase in the game. You know what I mean? Like I know Insomniac, That's Insomniac yeah, yeah, can yeah. say whatever they want to say, but until they show the game and say, "Here, here's what we're doing here," they be like, "Oh yeah, now I see what you're talking about. Now I see ray tracing and 60 frames per second. That's I'm impressed. You know what I mean? But the the talking aspect, putting it on a on a presentation, on you know what I mean, that doesn't impress me as a gamer. Yeah, at first when we're talking about the consoles, because you're getting hype for the consoles, but it go, it's going to come to a point. Where it's like, yo. Show me the games that you've been talking about or hyping it up for all these times, man. Yeah. Well, where's the twelve T flops? Yeah. Oh, the don't. I was gonna say you. not, not, not only that, but I think something that uh, a lot of people have to also realize is that during the road to PlayStation Five last year with Mark Cerny, you know, Mark Cerny was very clear, and you know, this is a guy. This guy's a genius. You know, he he's he's had a hand in building not only building this console but cultivating a relationship with AMD. That would future-proof their chips with their with technology that's going to be put into the PlayStation Five, right? So mm-hmm. when you have a man like that stand up in front of, you know, the millions of people that were virtually watching him and say, "Paraflops is not the the, the uh, ter- is very dangerous to the ter- uh, to excuse me," he said, "is very Rile dangerous teraflops. to rely on the number of teraflops of a GPU because." the accounts for these teraflops are very different and it's not the end all be all when it comes to power. Right. When you listen to the presentation, well, devs say that too, and that's another thing. The devs yeah. That, that's what a lot that. of devs say. And, and even like when we've seen people talking about how um, an SSD doesn't matter in development, but then you see all these developers coming out saying, you know, giving praise to the, to the level of speed and, 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 the way the uh, PS5 SSD compresses and, and is able to uh, do what it does and, and just all the things that PlayStation 5 houses, you see you see developers giving a lot of praise to that. Uh, regardless of what side you on, to see those types of things, I would not I would never doubt the PlayStation's ability and its power. There's yeah. still things that we still there's a reason there's a reason why Epic went with PlayStation to show off the, their next engine, mm. <laughs> to show off what it's capable of doing. Yeah. Remember that Remember demo? That saw. got people shook, that thing. Because that was, again, like we heard about all the tech talk, and then they show and, – and that at the time, people were, were speaking about how what it was seen at the showcase that didn't look like next gen, and then all of a sudden Epic showed that demo and says, run on PlayStation 5 or – you know, this is what we're running. You know, this is, and everybody flipped out going, that's not running. That's not a real game. It's not a real game. But meanwhile, it was a visual showing the tech. Whereas they talk about the tech and talk about the potential and then nobody mm-hmm. implements it. And that's where you're seeing a lot of, you know, even these, they just said Crash Bandicoot again, like, and that's not even a next gen game, but that actually runs better on the PlayStation where Xbox has these hitches. And I think the biggest take home message is that, The PlayStation 5, the way it was built, it was built for games. It was built to optimize whatever tech, like a traditional console. It was built with the focus of optimizing games. Microsoft's console was built with other things. And you heard about it when we had the dev dev video a couple of weeks ago where he was saying Microsoft changed a lot of stuff in the background, which made devs kind of, that's what I said, the tools will come in. Because Microsoft is turning more into a multi-platform with PC Pop, like trying to, to merge with the PC development so they get this kind of stuff. And I think it will give them some wins in, like, you know, in some games. But my, Sony went back and basically just built the console to be optimized, like a fine-tuned machine. And I think that's why you're seeing this stuff. When Microsoft touted the power, 
Sony just touted the uh, just what they've put in there. They listened to devs and they actually put it in there to optimize gaming. So that's basically where you're seeing this stuff. And I love the whole thing of like, just wow, muscle deformation. And I saw some track the track suit and stuff, and it really like looks pretty incredible. Like it's not it looks flat. great, dude. It's crazy. Like when he's swinging, you see the abs, and you see when he when when he goes down into that Spider-Man position, and you see his his, uh, his tricep, and you see his his arm, like you see it like strained down, like you see that coming out of his uh, out of his suit, like in the muscle, like th that bending. It's freaking cool as hell. Yeah. Now, if that's machine I, learning, I, dude, I, like, Tommy, I could have been killing it. Yo, no, and Tommy. that just came out of nowhere too. And I'm really so, thinking, like, uh, I can't wait like to see. Yeah, yeah, man. PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah, like they just dropped that out of out of the blue for that thing. Yeah. So like, it, the, it's the, the next Spider Man or whatever they. Oh God, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be freaking insane. Like, I, I can't wait. Great. Yeah. Okay, yo, yo, but, I don't, uh, button. Somebody's button. Understand why people always doubt PlayStation when it comes. Ratchet and Clank. You remember everybody was like, "Oh, see, PlayStation not doing sixty frames a second game." Yes, because it didn't and, I mean, show and it. They, they're coming at the yo. They are coming at developers of PlayStation hardcore. Like, yo, what does this mean? Four K, sixty frames. Is it is it four K yes. and thirty? And is it sixty frames and ten eighty? You know, I mean? yo, they be coming at PlayStation hardcore, and every single time they proving them wrong. Mm -hmm. Like PlayStation don't have like the the top tier quality games out here, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's it, it, the thing the is, is that there's a lot of, and that's just the the people just trying to point out stuff because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, uh, and again, like the the thing I could tell you that the, everybody's looking for that Exodus, and this goes into that MLB stuff. So I'll I'll, I'll leave it for that, but I, I'm I'll, I'll leave it that. What I wanted to talk about is the next topic is the games is the services, the subscriptions, PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, and games with gold. Oh, Jesus. All right, so I got images here for this one. So this one, my God. Like, guys, just remember, just a couple months ago, they were going to double the price of Xbox Live. Like, my, like they were going to do this. So, like, anyway, let, I'm just going to read you what, the, the, what they have been, okay? So we got December games, right? They had PlayStation Plus had the Worms Rumble, Rocket Arena, and Just Cause 4. Xbox had Raven Remastered, Bleed 2, not the sequel to Bleeding Ass. Sorry, that's just this is a different game. Bleed 2, Saints Row 360 version, Get Out of Hell, and Stacking. All right? Uh, 360 version. Then in March, Sony has Final Fantasy VII Remake, Farpoint, which is a great VR game used with the aim control. He's done that. Remnant from the Etches, which Frog has been playing a lot, and Marquette, a uh, PlayStation 5 game. Games of Gold had War Piece Breakout, Vala, and then Xbox 360 games, Metal Slug 3, and Sea of Thieves, well, no, Port Royale 3, not Sea of Thieves uh, things. And then this month, oh wait, we got April, we got this month, Oddworld Soulstorm, which comes out, I think, tomorrow, uh, that's a PlayStation 5 game, Days Gone, Zombie Army 4. And then Games of Gold has Vikings, Truck Racing Championships, the prequel to Lone Mower Racing that's coming out this summer. Dog Void, no, nah, I don't know. Dog Void 3, Xbox 360, a uh, very old game, very, uh, I think a good game. I remember playing that when I was a little boy. Uh, and then Hard Corpse Uprising. So, mind you, these are the same price per month, uh, per month and per year. They're $60 a month because Microsoft took that back. Uh, because they shook the industry with that. And this is a service that you're paying for. All right? And look, Sony has been putting PlayStation 5 games in their thing since the PlayStation 5 launched. They've been making sure there's a PlayStation 5 optimized game. Control was one of them. Control was in there. The Ultimate Edition, which was $40, $40 $50. And guess what? We got it in a subscription through PlayStation Plus, but Xbox had to pay for it. They had the base game. In Game Pass, not the new one, not the updated one for Series X enhancements. So, Microsoft, you know, this whole like shaming of a subscription and stuff. If you just look at the subscriptions, what they are, Games of Gold is garbage. And obviously, they're making it on garbage on purpose, I think, because they just want you to say, Games of Gold is shit. I'm going to get Game Pass. 
<laughs> that's basically what they're doing. That's what they tried to do in February. They tried to say, like, outprice it and say, hey, it's $120 for somebody to be like, X- game- Games of Gold is so expensive. Game Pass. They're trying. <laughs> and, and I said this before. They have an internal battle. And you actually seen it with the Outriders, like 17% and stuff like that. They have an internal battle where they got to convince their 100 million Xbox Live or Xbox subscribers to join the 18 million Xbox Game Pass subscribers. They got to flip that. They got to teach you that you don't buy your games, you subscribe to your games. This is an internal battle with Microsoft. Fuck going to PlayStation and saying, PlayStation guys, come over to Xbox to subscribe to games. Microsoft has to convert gold people to Game Pass subs. That's their internal battle. Don't buy it. Subscribe. And the way they're trying to do it, because it's not happening fast enough. Just like Mixer's growth did not happen fast enough. They had to do things where they had wanted to increase the price. And the next best thing is just make games with gold the, the perks of gold so trash that somebody just says, fuck this shit, I'm going to go to Game Pass. Because they are not naturally growing these services. Instead, they're just throwing shit against the wall to see what sticks. Put this game in there day one. Do this one. Machine learning. This one. Games of gold is trash. Like, they're purposely doing this shit. This is not even an attempt. Did you see this shit? Games of gold? I'm like, I'm like, this shit you won't even find in the five dollar bin in a fucking Walmart barrel when you're ass deep in it. <laughs> <laughs> right? like, you know those big ass Walmart barrels that got the fucking five dollar yeah, yeah, thing, dude. Yeah, you yeah, could yeah. be, you could be have your ankle sticking out the top of the fucking the barrel there. You still won't find these games. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny, dude. That what do you funny. think about this? That's First, just let's go April. What do you think about the April, the comparison? Like, I didn't even know this is a fucking comparison. Um, I, I mean, for comparison's sake, I mean, obviously, PlayStation Plus blows this, pl- blows games with gold out the water. Like, there is no, there is no comparison, right? Uh, but for me personally, I don't really care for Odd World, and yeah. I already platinum Days Gone in 2019. Oh, and yeah. I don't care about Zombie Army. So, like, those games, to me, personally, doesn't really, like, stand out to me. And it's not really, uh, it doesn't have me really jumping for joy for April. But compar- in the, for, for comparison's sake, oh, yeah, it, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's an amazing month. Yeah, we're for, talking uh, services, fans. dude. We're talking, ser- we're talking services. And then on top of this, they're also giving Horizon Zero Dawn for free. They gave uh-huh. Ratchet & Clank last yeah. month for free. Just give it to you. Here you go. Mm-hmm. The games will play or whatever. They just give it to you. No subscriptions tied to it. But Sony is struggling. Sony's behind the subscription. This is where I the, the where I want to kind of see where you guys want to go with this is that they're apparently, because of games like Outright, and just because of the existence of Game Pass, it seems that Sony doesn't have the vision of services that Microsoft has, and they're in trouble. That's what I've been hearing. Have you been hearing the same thing? Like, they're in trouble. They need to get with the Joneses because the Joneses are moving on up. And that's Microsoft um, with their subscriptions. But Sony is lost with their subscriptions. Is that true? If I answer that, we're going to, it would it would take us into the MLB topics. I don't want to yes. answer that. We could right go, right we so go right to the MLB. That's the next topic. We're going to go right to, we're going through the grinds table after this shit. Because I can't yeah. hold my, I can't hold my shit down anymore. <laughs> But in, in terms of PS Plus, I mean, especially since the PlayStation 5 has launched, I mean, PS Plus is always, this is the thing about PlayStation Plus, especially during the PlayStation 4 generation. You know, you, you like to see a lot of people now that say that, you know, PlayStation doesn't care about indie games anymore and, you know, they're moving mm-hmm. away from indies and all this stupid shit, right? But during the PlayStation 4 generation, people were cursing playstation they were condemning playstation for putting indies brand indie new station. indies yes i remember in the I was, play sta- I was in on the playstation other side. plus yes. for people to, to <laughs> for people and we're not just talking indies that are really they like day and date debut indies that were that were re- releasing that same day would be free for playstation plus members drawn to death 
Uh, contrast? You know, uh, con- big, uh, contrast. Remember contrast uh, that launch. That was a big um, deal. Uh, it was it's too many to count. And Rezo Gun. Were, Rezo Gun. Oh, uh, what is it? The Octodad? <laughs> yeah, people hate, People were mad at that. People did not want that, right? PlayStation got a bit more aggressive through the PlayStation 4 generation, and they started putting bigger budget titles into the PlayStation Plus offerings for uh, month to month. Fast forward to PlayStation 5, yo, they're, they, they're knocking it out the park. Mm-hmm. Like, they have been giving us a brand new title on top of, you know, the other offerings exactly. for the PlayStation 5 the since the launch, since it came out. Oddworld's and, you know, day and there's day. no telling. Yeah, day and day. And, and there's no telling when, uh, you know, when this will fall off, if, it, if, it, if at all. But, you know, you know, we got Destruction All-Stars, a brand new yeah, uh, that was day and derby game in February, you know, and then uh, fe- you know, February is such a magical month because we had got Destruction All Stars, we got Control Ultimate, Control Edition. Ultimate Edition. Um, I forgot what the third game was. Oh, and uh, Concrete Genie. Concrete All Genie. three yeah. very very right good now. games. Concrete March, great. March we got um, Final oh, Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, I like, showed it. I got right. Yeah, bro, we got, you got... that that game alone. That Final Fantasy VII Remake alone. Alone, one of the greatest but, games to ever release within my life, Final Fantasy yeah. VII, the remade version, unmatched. That alone is is top tier. They gave out four games in them. March. They gave them four games. Yeah. They gave Far Point, which is a VR game, Remnant from the Ashes, and then Marquette is the puzzle game for PlayStation Five. And everybody made a big deal, like, "Oh, but I can't upgrade to the 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 uh, the the PlayStation yeah, 5, Five Edition." Integrate. But the thing yeah. is, is like, yo, which which was crazy. Yo, I saw a lot of gamers oh. upset at that. Was talking about how I can't upgrade to integrate. I'm like, you didn't buy the game. Yeah, <laughs> you, you don't own the game. You're renting the game, dude. That's how, like the same people complaining about up? the ten dollars wreck fest. They're like, what? They they they, they rub their nuts because it came in Game Pass, but they're like ten dollars to the Series X version. No way. No, I don't believe no, listen, in ten dollars. Yo, I, I personally think the these game. services, these services are great, but they they are they they're going down a dangerous alley in yes, gaming, man. They they're is. going down there because gamers are getting these attitudes where they don't want to buy no games. Mm, I think PlayStation dude, Plus sucks. is the uh, best service in gaming currently right now, especially if you have a PS Five. There's no there's yeah. no service com- competing. I don't give a and you I don't get give the games collection game and that collection. Yeah, that, that PlayStation yeah, that Plus collection, collection. That PlayStation and you're getting collection new games oh, every God. month. There's yeah. no, there's no, there's no beating that. But yo, it does set a bad precedence in gaming because a lot of people now is 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 shaming people for buying games. I know that's bullshit. Exactly. You know, what I mean? you have it vice versa that's too. Insane. But it's it's just it's just crazy. It's crazy how gamers think now. Like, oh, seventy dollars, sixty dollars for game. I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy that. I'm gonna wait for it to come to Plus or Game Pass, something like that. Man. Like the gaming industry, we gotta be careful, man. We gotta yeah. be careful. But I'm gonna tell you one thing about that whole thing with the whole waiting and stuff. If somebody is going to wait, then I don't think that they're they're not probably not that interested to begin with. Because my thing is, is that if you have a game that you like that you're into, you're gonna buy it. You're not gonna like sit back and like you know what? I'll just wait for it to come to Game Pass. Like, well, oh, I'm just gonna wait for it to come to PlayStation now. Then, yes, then guess but what? This is the thing. You would think that that would that. That's the norm, right? Yeah. Like people will buy things that they love, right? Yeah. But in gaming now, and 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 what I'm seeing, especially within this Twitter community, oh. and obviously Twitter doesn't represent the entire game. No, because look at MPDs. But, look at what's selling. Yeah, look at Nintendo. Not, but, Nintendo is saving us all. Of course, <laughs> but you know that mentality is starting to spread where people are viewing buying games as a negative. Yeah, that's bullshit. And, and yeah. I agree with Barry 100. percent Yo, that's this that's dangerous because like mm-hmm. I don't care how people try to spin this. You cannot a, a, an entire game industry cannot be sustained like this. No. It cannot be sustained like that. Mm-mm. You have to put back in to that into that industry in order for it to flourish and thrive. All we'll get start getting cell phone quality games where it's you know. You got to spend X amount of dollars in order to get that's another life to play the game like Candy Crush. That's you why know, or I you don't got, or you got yeah. all this other crazy stuff. That's it's why I don't can't do mobile gaming because it, it like, is, it's, uh, it's horrible. It's much money as play as much money as Xbox has. Their money ain't endless, and X, the gaming division is not their most profitable division. 
it will always be their operating system division, software yeah, division. And businesses. Enterprise. So it, it's always. So, you know, yeah, that checkbook large, but it ain't endless. Mm -hmm. And if, 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 if people aren't putting back into that, you think Microsoft is just going to keep just shelling out millions and billions to keep getting large budget games into these services? No, it's, it's Mixer. How's that, how's that no, doing? Man. How's Mixer doing? Hell no. How's that all that money that the bottomless pit, the checkbook was open. They bought Mixer. They bought, they bought uh, what's his name? They bought uh, Ninja. They bought Shroud. They were buying them all in October, just in July to shut the whole fucking thing down in 20 days. Yeah. yeah. So that's the thing. That's why when you're seeing these moves, they're reactionary. They're, they're just throw money at a problem that they, it's not working. The thing is, is that when you, that's why that Xbox Live thing was there in February because this is not growing as fast as they want. You might see 18 million and go, hey, this is awesome. It grew another five, another four. But you might you don't know Satya's numbers. You don't know Satya said, Phil, I want I want a, the, the 40 million people by the November uh, by November 2021. And like, oh shit, we're at 18. You don't know Microsoft's numbers. You don't know that. You might just see an increase and you don't even know if that's concurrent. So the thing is, is that that's why I don't know how long they're gonna play this game for. Like, are they gonna like? Hopefully, those games by the from those studios come out by the time they do it. But the thing is, is there needs to be some natural growth. And Phil talks about the flywheel stuff because Microsoft is banking on Game Pass as being Xbox. Xbox is Game Pass. It's no longer Xbox is a PC, a console because they removed the devices out of this thing. The Game Pass and X Cloud is Xbox. It's gonna live or die by the services that they create. These services that Sony has, even though PlayStation Plus, I would say, is a lot better than Gold, obviously, like, that is just a, nobody talks about it because it's, it is, it, it doesn't make Xbox look good because Games of Gold is just garbage. And you tell me they don't know that? They know that. Here's something, here's something to think about as well, right? Um, so Microsoft as an entire company, you know, they got money, right? They, they went and bought uh, Bethesda or Zenimax for $7.5 billion. Yeah. Alphabet which is the parent company of Google is worth 900 billion. They're up there with Microsoft as well. They saw that purchase and hightailed it out of there. They could have <laughs> went toe to toe with the money they could. in the purchasing of studios and things like that to bring value to their streaming service Stadia. Mm -hmm. They said, "Oh no, we're out." Yeah, and we're they just going to buy just as much money. So, you know, with 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 Microsoft, they're definitely taking a gamble here. Mm -hmm. They're definitely taking the game because contrary to popular belief, companies don't like to spend a whole lot of money. No. They really try to do things as cheaply as possible. How much MLB costs? To get more like, money. How much Outriders cost them? Like, they're paying for this stuff because look at, and we'll get into it, but one thing I want to talk about is, but look at the other service that they have is April, April PlayStation Now. They just put Avengers, Borderlands 3, and The Long Night in there. Like, I really think Sony's been flexing with PlayStation now. Like, I, I think that they've been putting a lot of good games in that that service as well. Um, Yo, Play, PlayStation now is a great service. It's just people just overhyping ga Game Pass. It's just Game Pass, Game Pass, it's Game Pass, Game Pass. Game Pass. Yeah, and, yeah and, but play, like I said, we was talking about it earlier, Jez. A lot of the games that's in PlayStation now and in Game Pass, they, they both share the same games. Yeah. The, the, the whole entire Bethesda collection is in ps now but when it went to game pass what everybody was saying this is great for game pass yo xbox <laughs> wait here's the w but the same games was in game uh ps now for months yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. months upon months but it's just how to the, the, it, it's a community thing but i think P, ps now is actually a great service uh i would like to see playstation promote it a little bit more but like yeah. i said these services is is scary too man it's great it, it, it belongs in the market but it's also scary that's as well. why i like the way and I've said this a bunch of times is like I feel I like the way that Sony does this where these services are and well PlayStation Plus you need to play online but like these services are a nice a supplemental exactly link like they're a, a, a an alternative way to play like this PlayStation Plus uh, PlayStation now yeah I have the Avengers I bought it at launch I had Borderlands I bought that and the Long Night I don't have so I'll probably download that and maybe try that out. Um, they also have Black Ops in there. They have a bunch of games. And I was playing some streaming stuff as well, too, because it's streaming to a console where you could play it normally how you would play a console game. See, Microsoft does streaming with to a phone. You still can't stream anything to your Xbox. Like, you could maybe stream on your PC or something like that, or you could stream to your PC. But 
their streaming capabilities are not anything. And I like to use them in PlayStation now to kind of sample a game. Like The Long Night, I'll probably like start streaming it to see if I want to download it. Just to kind of see, like, hey, is this something I might want to play? And then play a little bit in the streaming and then download it. Sony, Microsoft don't have that at all. And everybody thinks that all the stuff is just streaming. No. There are over 400-something games on PlayStation now that you could download. All the PS4 games, even the PS2 games that they have in there, you could download. The only games you must stream only are the 400 or so PlayStation 3 games. So that is over 800 games for $60 a year. Not a month. A year, and you can get it for forty four dollars a month if you just wait to stay to play, or when they run a deal, forty four dollars a year. Like that is that is just, just I subscribe to it just for the fuck of it. Like boom, forty four dollars, fuck it, a year. Yeah. You're talking yeah. a Game Pass that everybody's going hyped for is a hundred and eighty dollars a year. Some motherfucker was trying to do some calculus <laughs> bullshit to me. Going well, you could just buy MLB this. You could just play MLB the Show for a dollar for one month. Then, then you could just unsubscribe and then buy it a year later when it's cheap. I'm like motherfucker. Do you understand? You don't. Where are you gonna play the game when the next one comes out? You missed the whole season of baseball. What the fuck kind of <laughs> calculus shit is that? All I said was you could buy MLB the Show and subscribe Ooh. to PlayStation Now for less than xbox game pass year in addition if you want to go and and fluff your balls about madden and all those other stuff i'll fucking throw in ea access for 30 dollars or 25 if it's on sale for an, it's still less than game pass mm -hmm. 70 dollars yeah, for a game correct 60 dollars for the friggin uh, for, for uh for playstation now you're talking 130 dollars and i'll throw you in $30 for EA Access. Now you got MLB you own. All these fucking PlayStation games and PlayStation Now. Over 800 of them. Quantity means to you. Obviously it does. And then all EA Access, which basically is thrown into Game Pass. $160 a year. Still, you got to pay $180. Oh, because Microsoft first party games. When's the next one, fuck nut? <laughs> Tell me when Halo comes out, bitch. Because that's what you're paying the extra overhead for. <laughs> anyway, Jeez. holy I, I shit! That in, motherfucker yo. was showing me calculus oh charts God. and shit. I don't. I was like, I don't got time for this. I muted this. Song. I was like, you know what? What I said was fact. You don't need to tell me about some fucking jerk off way. I'm gonna pay a dollar, and then then I'm not gonna play it for the whole season, and then I'll buy it next year. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> the, the, okay, good, good job, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, one thing that Game Pass does great though. Is the fact that you can buy the game through Game Pass and you get a little discount when it's leaving I the think, service? Uh -huh. Yeah, when it's leaving the service. No, I think you can just buy no. Buy I don't the think there's a Game right. Pass. No, it's, even, it's only when it's no, leaving. no. You can't. No, no, no. You can't. You can't. There's an option. There's an option. So when you when you're when you're in Game Pass, there's an option to either download the game and play it or buy the game out. Oh yeah, you can you buy it, but option. you don't get. I don't know if you get the discount. With Game Pass, I think you got to. It has to be leaving Game Pass, and then you get the ten percent discount. It's not everything in Game Pass is a ten percent discount, from what I see. I don't know if it's different on the console, but I know people say you get a discount if it's leaving the service. So if like uh, it, it, they'll it'll put it not true. No, I said I got you. Oh got yeah, you. like I don't I don't yeah. think just because like I don't think MLB the Show is going to be ten percent off on April twentieth. Um, I think it's going to be seventy dollars or sixty dollars in the in the service. You because that's their tactic. Their tactic is to make the game look so fucking expensive, you, Game Pass is the better option. And you could just see that with their first-party games. How many times has Sea of Thieves been on sale? Sea of Thieves, I think, is still like fucking like 40 bucks or some shit like that. Like that, like Sony's giving away their shit that came out three years ago. Sea of Thieves is... Wait, how much is Sea of Thieves? I'll tell you right now. I think Sea of Thieves is still 30 Sea of Thieves uh, on Xbox. Because Microsoft does that. They don't put their games on sale that often. Uh, they're first party games because they want them to look attractive in Game Pass. I noticed that. Yeah, they don't put um let me see. See if these is selling for a whopping uh let's see. I think it maybe twenty. Maybe they dropped it. Oh, it's on sale for the, the next ten days for twenty dollars. It was forty. That thing should be twenty dollars flat. Not even on sale for for, for twenty. It should be twenty dollars right now. Mm-hmm. 
instead it's on sale for twenty dollars. It's really retail value of forty dollars of Sea of Thieves. Uh, I think State of K is still sitting there at uh, uh, thirty. Let me see, State of K two. This is what I mean. Like I, I think it's it, it's their their way of of uh, of making Game Pass accessible. Like I, like uh, making Game Pass seem valuable is because they're over. They're making everything else look so. They're not uh, being aggressive. Like Sony does put their games on sale very frequently. I could bet you MLB The Show is going to be on sale real quick, and we'll get into that. Oh, they got a whole they got a whole spring sale going on right now. Oh, I, like, they, they, all that crap. Games. Well, let me see. A state account Xbox, but I noticed that they, they they're not very Microsoft's not aggressive too much with their with their first party sales, and I think it has to do with Game Pass because they want to make sure that yeah. See if the State of Decay two is thirty dollars. It's on sale right now for twenty two dollars. State of K2 right. should be fucking 15 bucks. Came out three years ago. You know? Like, that's the thing. Like, yeah. it's just... It, it's it, you, you You look at... Sony's just giving away Days Gone. Like, here you go. Here you go. Oh, hey, Horizon. Here you go, bitch. Like, Horizon's like, here you go. Ratchet and Clank. Here you go. Like, just free. Like, Microsoft didn't even put State of K2 in, in Games of Gold. Well, no, because it's in Game Pass. Yo, they're doing some freaking shady shit. I don't like it because they're 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 trying to create some sort of artificial bullshit. I don't like it. Yeah. Because they're 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 create what they're what, what what grinds me up is that they're creating this artificial this this kind of artificial value, which it 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 should be it should be right like it shouldn't be like what they were doing with the increasing the price of gold of gold. It's it, by doing that making Game Pass look better because you're making something more overpriced. Uh, and I and I noticed exactly. that. Like, or they you know, really do. Or really, I really do think they want to get rid of Xbox Live pricing entirely and let Game Pass Ultimate be the only thing you can. They you need can buy. to. Yeah, they 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 definitely want to get. They de- I'm telling you, they 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 tried it. You know, they went about it the wrong way with this whole 120. But trust what I tell you, within the next year or two. They gonna just they gonna be like you know what fuck this uh, guys look uh, you got till X Y X Y Z date uh, until Xbox Live Gold is gone. Yeah, <laughs> Straight up. I know. I'm telling you they they not gonna keep this up. They what? they did it like this because the whole community was well mostly PlayStation dudes that was like really speaking up for that. But anyway, uh, you know a lot of the community was you know <laughs> really uh, like really calling this out. Trust me. Yeah. Because it's the same. Because look back at the beginning of last gen. They wanted always online. They wanted everything to be all digital, DRM and things like that. Fast forward to now, it's exactly that. Mm-hmm. You need to be online in order to download the games. If you don't yeah. have the subscription, you can't play the games. DRM, always online. Anyone? Hello? Yeah, uh, exactly. It, it, it's going to happen. But no, they need they need Xbox Live to be part of, especially for the consoles, because I said they need to convert those gold, those gold members to Game Pass subscribers. And the thing is, is that in order to do that, they need to have Xbox Live as the crutch because that's going to keep those guys su- subscribed in the down months because they're going to need it for their online. See, that's where they get you with Ultimate is that you, if you cancel Ultimate, then you lose Xbox Live. And if you stacked Ultimate for three years and you say, I'm, I don't want X- Xbox Game Pass anymore. I just want Live. Well, guess what? Oh. You lost. Nope. <laughs> you lost the rest of the, it. Demotes you, but you lose you. It doesn't just convert down. You lost it. You got to cancel it, and you got to start okay. anew. And yep. that's the thing. Oh, here it goes. Daniel B says it's ten percent at launch in Game Pass and twenty percent after ninety days, and you get ten percent off on DLC. Okay, so so it is like EA Access, I guess. So yeah. it's like EA Access gives you that ten percent on their games after you try to demo. So that's good. So I guess you could buy MLB the Show for uh, for that, and we're gonna get into that now because that's the big that's the big one. We're gonna wrap this up with a big grinds table, and here it is, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Shout out! We had over ninety people watching. Awesome! Thank you so much. Hit that like button. We're going to the grinds table right now.
So, I got my Xbox chant going on in the background. Microsoft <laughs> made the flex of the century. So, we I did a video on this. On, on Everybody's been doing the videos on this thing. So, Friday I woke up. I see this thing. It says MLB is going to Game Pass. I thought it was a, a, a remnant of a, a April Fool's joke. And I'm like, what? Because if you remember, this MLB thing was was announced last year, a year and a half ago, about from MLB that Sony was going to go, Sony was going to make MLB for multiple platforms. I think even the Switch, um, if it was going to the Switch. But not only did they make it for multiple platforms, and this was the first year that it was going to happen, April 20th, but then Phil Ness went over there to the MLB and he said, uh, you like Booster? And they're like, oh, they're like, booster and he's like they're like who's booster he goes the xbox he goes oh yeah uh, but nobody likes booster he goes as the bat he backs up the bank truck and he goes what about now they go oh yeah we like booster <laughs> and then they fucking <laughs> phil ness paid him off and he unbuttoned yeah. the top button he goes like this he unbuttoned the top button he goes bring it on back here he goes and he goes there it is bring it up open the bank open the safe and he dropped off the money bag right at MLB. And MLB's like, all right, we like Booster now. Booster's our favorite. We'll put it, we'll put MLB on Game Pass Booster. And there you go. MLB, the show, the Sony exclusive for what, 13 years? Is 20. now 20. What? Yeah. It was there 20? 20 Holy shit. Yeah. Then oh, they start on uh They're PS4. playing fucking T ball back then. Holy shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Now is going to Xbox Game Pass. And I know you guys did not like that. So what did you have to say about it so far? <laughs> not the hyperbole that occurred afterwards, but what do you take for your reaction to this? Like, was it like, holy shit? Was it like, you know, Sony's doomed? Was it like that um, Xbox is king? We're back in the 360 era. Any, any crazy shit like that? Phil, Phil's my dad. Oh no! Oh hell no! Nah. Listen, uh, <laughs> nah. Uh, so okay, so who are you? Man, I, uh, where do I begin? All right. Who is your so, daddy? In terms of in terms of Xbox getting the deal, I like I said on my uh, personal show, uh, this is a power move, mm -hmm. right? Regardless of anyone how anyone wants to spin it, it's a power move, and you got to give play. Uh, excuse me, you have to give Xbox the W there. Yes. Right. Because they, they did two things. They got the game in Game Pass, something that was exclusive to PlayStation for such a long time. And they, they went above and beyond to make it look a bit more appealing on the Xbox platforms. But they also made Sony look stupid. Mm -hmm. They made they made they embarrassed PlayStation. Right. Uh, so, you know, you, you got to get them the W now. Now, now hold on. Mm -hmm. I know people are probably going to be like, hold on, Persona. You giving Xbox W's? Hold on, I yeah, thought you was PlayStation Nation. It's I'm PlayStation Nation all the way down to my socks. <laughs> all right, but you're my number uh, one you customer. Give the w there, right? Now, when it comes to the actual deal, I'm not mad at that. Like that, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Right. My whole issue is, and we, everyone in the community was using this word. I used it first. Oh That's man, I, I heard you earlier. Right? Next. The optics. The optics. Uh, since, la since last week, I've been using this word, but I'm going to use this it here. The optics. Really it's cool. the optics of the situation because uh, <laughs> a game that PlayStation has been making for their platform for 20 plus, for 20 years, 13, 15, 20, whatever, mm -hmm. for however many years, something that was exclusive. Because you see a lot of people saying, oh, well, what is PlayStation to do? Uh, you know, they didn't really do anything special prior. And I'm like, the thing that was special about MLB prior was the fact that it was exclusive. Yeah. It was a reason for you to buy a PlayStation. Fast forward also to Also, the best baseball the game, that, though. Best baseball game. Yes, Everybody else was trash. Yes, by, by a country mile. Country right? mile, but yeah. Fast forward, but, but, but fast forward to now, and, you know, the fact that the game is multi-plat, right? PlayStation had... I personally feel that PlayStation should have done, gone a bit above and beyond to make sure that they reassure fans and let fans know this game is still the uh it's the best on the playstation platform mm -hmm. here's why right and yeah. i'm not saying throw it in ps now i'm not saying throw it on ps plus right but you know 
giving your fans something a bit more special like you do with all types of other third party games right uh, yeah. like you do with all types of other games and uh, Jess, uh, ladies and gentlemen in the chat PlayStation's developing this game I know so San Diego right San Diego why is there nothing special you, you get what I'm saying so you know those are the things that I'm looking at and I'm like uh PlayStation you kind of look a little spooky here you got caught with your pants down um, you guys should have probably got a, gone a little bit above and beyond here, especially with you being a developer. So the optics of the situation is what I'm most focused on. The optics and the fact that they that there was no there's no incentive, right? PlayStation gives incentives for you why you need to buy COD on here, why you need to buy Avengers here, why you need to buy Death Loop here, why you need to buy this this this, you know, all these deals. But then when it comes to something that they are developing themselves, there is nothing to set the competition apart. Yeah. I, I totally yeah, agree. I mean, yeah, JJ, yeah. what do you have to say? Oh, Link. Ooh, what do you guys say? Link, Jay Bari. Um, I mean, you know, I've, I've had a little bit of time to think about this since the com- we had a conversation about this earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, he's right. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and agree with that. I don't agree with maybe putting it in PS Now or whatever because that's not the way they want to sell this game. But, yeah, they – for the loyal fan base that's been supporting this game for all these years, there should be some kind of incentive being that this is a PlayStation developed game. There should have been something in there for PlayStation gamers just to, to, um, uh, you know, because it is a game that they developed. So I guess I can't agree with, um, um, with that part of it. Um, some kind of something, you know, some kind of currency, something, whatever, for the PlayStation gamer. So, I do agree with that. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I I think it's a it's a it's a it's a shit show over there at PlayStation when it comes to this game. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on out here. But so you blame Jim Ryan, is, uh, Jay? You blame Jim? Go to Ramsey, goddamn it. I Where's blame Jim Ryan. I blame Ramon. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the head dude of MLB The Show. I blame <laughs> PlayStation <laughs> himself. Bro, I, Persona. You've been erased. I agree 100%. Like, that has been my argument for like the longest. It's like everybody keeps focusing on the Game Pass portion mm-hmm. of it, but right. I'm focused on the PlayStation brand. Like, yo, yeah. what the fuck is going on here? How, <laughs> yes. MLB always been an exclusive game. Now that it went multi-plat, how, how can you as a platform holder not incentivize your own game to be played on your platform? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You go like at the end of the day, people laugh at the whole DLC exclusive content. You know what I mean? Oh, I get a skin, I get a new bat that's PlayStation logo. People laugh at that shit. But what is selling when it comes to these other third-party games is the shit that we laughing at. at. The DLC, yeah. the gun camo, the, but what, the exclusive this gun is the thing. Gear. I heard you saying this stuff. My question is, what can they put in the MLB game? Like, put what? An all-star team of, like, PlayStation characters or something? Like, what are they, can they no, add I, I, to I, I, baseball? Shit, that would be dope. Right? <laughs> that would be dope, know. right? <laughs> The thing is, I personally don't know, but I don't, I don't work. For, I, the thing is, I know, like, yo, but it's like, what, 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 what the MLB allow them to put in there? Like, what? Uh, give me a Kratos' axe as a bat instead of like a right. Like, the, the, the thing is, they, is, it's not, it's is, not just, it's not just an MLB say so. I know everybody likes to hearken upon MLB and having the license and all that stuff because Marvel has the license for Spider Man, but Sony and Insomniac was being creative on what they can create, right? And I mean, this at the end of the day is a. MLB the show, the show itself is a PlayStation IP, it's a PlayStation property. You could have done something for your own IP that you publish on your own platform for your consumer. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I know. And the fact is now my, now Microsoft has this game for the first time and they have more you have more incentive to play on Xbox than PlayStation. If you want because to on game, on game Pass, like I said, you not it's not just about the renting. It's also that you have you can get a discount if you want to purchase the game. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? You you so you're not gonna pay the 70 now. You're gonna pay everybody hate the 70, you're gonna play the 65, the 63, whatever, the 60 dollars. You know what I mean? Like, yo, that, that is a huge incentive for somebody that was looking, oh, maybe I rent the game for the one month, right? Oh, I like the game. Let me buy it. And then now you have that customer there 
on Microsoft platform that's buying, you know, uh, stub Your stub game. packs, you know, DLC uh, microtransaction on Microsoft platform. Even though places you're gonna get a little cut of that microtransaction, but at the end of the day, it's still a plus plus for Microsoft. But for the PlayStation gamer and the play, my friend, the PlayStation brand. You know what I mean? Like, yo, your your game is on um on, on multiple platform now. You got to incentivize that, yo. We want you to play on PlayStation. Here's here's this exclusive content. Oh, here's yo. Where's the PlayStation Plus discount? You have a discount for. I don't see uh, it on discount loop. right now, though. I'd say I'm looking at it on the pre order page. There's no discount. There's no discount. There's no discount but, on Xbox. I'm looking at it right now. I don't no, see it. But for 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 Game Pass, once you go and purchase it, you're gonna get a ten percent discount. If you have Game Pass, yeah. What's well, if you have Game Pass? Let me see. Now, place yo. As Persona said, PlayStation go mad hard in the paint for third party games. I know bro. what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you have Forspoken two year exclusive. You have Final Fantasy seven exclusive. Death Loop. You have that for a year exclusive and a PlayStation. If you're a PlayStation Plus member, you get a discount while you pre order the game. But your own yeah. made property, your own made game, you have I nothing. Mm-hmm. It's it's craziness, man. Crazy. I know. Insanity. And, you know what's interesting is that's funny because when I was listening to you say like saying that, I think about I thought about like basically um you know how Xbox gamers have felt for the longest time. Console owners when Sony when Microsoft was out cheating on Xbox with PC. And like kind of going over there and you know whining and dining those PC dudes over at Steam and uh, the Windows 10 store and giving them the free Xbox Live, giving them games before everybody else, such as you know the the hit the 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 global hit of Flight Simulator. Yeah, I didn't go off. That was just silence because that's the fucking global hit. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I, flight, I, I, was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Pause. I was like, pause. Flight, so, yeah, that shit. Uh, but like Gears Tactics, which had to come later, like they kept giving the catering to the PC guys and Xbox console guys. Like, how I'm the paying subscriber. I'm the one that built your friggin' platform. Where's my shit? You know, where's my perks? So like, I definitely understand where you're coming from, where it's like you developed this game. Like, why? Uh, where are you incentives for your own developed stu- game? And um, and I don't know, like, you know, we don't know this this MLB deal and we don't know how deep this MLB deal went, because if you remember, this wasn't announced by Sony. It wasn't announced by Xbox. It was announced by MLB. Like, we are bringing this game to all like it's like their game, even though Sony was the one developing it and it was an IP on Sony's thing for the longest time. They basically were like, this is like a shift in MLB. And, you know, I think baseball overall I think it's kind of looking at they're not getting those NFL numbers. They like NLB. I think is really struggling here, and they want their Madden, maybe their Madden moment, and things like that. And and you know this is kind of their way of doing. They see what NBA is doing with 2K and having that one game that just kind of just dominates Madden, just dominates football. And they probably just want to make their game this this one, my Sony, that kind of game. Yeah, this I, is the de facto I, I, I get, which I, get I hate that. that. I wish there's competition, but. Unfortunately, it's not. But I understand I get, what you're saying. I, I I get that 100. percent But you're not. You, you know what I'm saying? Like you 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 have a rapport with MLB for 20 plus years. It's not how, how your platform still does is not benefiting for your gamers, but the opposing platform is. That that's a that's an issue. Yeah. That MLB the MLB stuff is just it's just an excuse for everybody put up to just to feel good at the end that's that's just keeping it real. Mm-hmm. Yes, MLB has a say so because you know they have rights to these characters, but it's PlayStation is creating the game. PlayStation is putting the work yeah, on the animation like the and how the game runs. But they publishing it right. The MLB is publishing it. Sony publishing it on theirs right. But yeah, MLB PlayStation is publishing. publishing it on 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 PlayStation and uh, MLB publishing it on on Xbox. But the thing is, it's Regardless on the publishing, it's still a Sony made IP. It's a Sony IP. Well, the <laughs> you know I mean? IP is a license by the MLB. MLB license. Well, no, they, no. PlayStation owns the IP. MLB. Oh, what the owns show? The, teams the being show used. Yeah, the teams being used. So like Mets. Yankees, yeah, the character Mets, likenesses you know, and all that stuff. Well, isn't, that the, isn't that the the? Isn't that the IP? Is the the baseball? What's the IP if, oh, if yeah. MLB owns the... Well, no, yeah, I mean, the, 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 IP the likeness is the, is and the, the licensing. Show. The show. Yeah, oh, the, the show. show is MLB the show. That's that's a PlayStation property-owned game. Yeah. See, the, 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 the show 
MLB, you know, yeah, it's a licensed game. No different than like Marvel Spider Man is a licensed game, but the game Spider Man 2018, that's a PlayStation owned property. Well, you know what I'm saying? The game, the game is the game. Well, yeah, the, the, game. well the license yeah. is actually, see, what happens if, and this is the thing, I was like thinking with MLB there, like, what happens if, uh, if like, you know, Disney's like, you know what, Spider Man needs to be everywhere. Like I hope I, I you know that's gonna be interesting. Like if if the- yo Ra- Raven Flow saying that we're wrong, right? Raven Flow, you prove me wrong right now. Go Google and tell me that MLB the show is not a PlayStation IP, and then I'll believe you. I bet you you can't though. I I'll 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 PayPal you fifty dollars oh. if you can prove me wrong. Oh shit! Now, whatever your name is, is get ready for the big surprise. <laughs> Listen. I would I would have said PayPal you fifty dollars if I know I was wrong. Persona, you already know. A lot of people don't know me in this chat. Listen, I'm the best at what I do. What I do isn't very nice. Who is your daddy? I tell you the truth. (laughs) Damn, he's dropping the thing, yo. I hope this isn't true. (laughs) I got my Arnold say. You go back and listen to it. I'm doing my Arnold (laughs) inputs to your eye. Anyway, so like the thing is, is that. I, I, I think, though, but this is the thing. I know Sony developed it. And it was San Diego Studios. It was a Sony first-party studio that developed it. But MLB seems to be having more flex on this game than what they typically did. They used to probably just whore out the license, and that's why we got the other RBI trash and stuff. But it seems like they had some sort of kind of like, we need to control our like our our license like we need to control the game and got into publishing because i think that's how they announced it then they announced it like with them going into publishing game mlb what the fuck they did yeah, something. because the thing is well, the mlb thing is- so mlb so mlb the publisher is a mlb advanced media is a partnership of the club of the owners of the mlb based in new york and is the internet and interactive branch of the league so gotcha there it mlb is, yeah. mlb advanced media is the ones who are publishing the game on Xbox. They okay. control those. They deal That's with that whole out. digital uh, side of things when it comes to anything that deals with baseball. Gotcha. And they were founded in 2000. Their parent organization is Major League Baseball Enterprises. Their subsidiary is at Tickets.com. And, yeah, so they're g- – Oh, so holy sh- – Dude. Yo, did you know what they did before? What they've been doing? Where they came from? I just looked uh, and well. see what they pu- published. You know what they published? All the trash ass RBI baseball games. Of course. And and that's why that's why that's why they that's they why they, the they show. went to PlayStation. It was like, they yo, we need yo, you. Yo, that's why. Because look, I'm looking at it right here, and basically, I was like, well, what did they publish? And it says advanced uh, MLB Advanced Media. Here we go. They published all. So they were trying to 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 put their put MLB trash that RBI trash. I mean, that's what they've been doing. That's where they were created in 2000 to kind of create an alternate game. Meanwhile, the show was just destroying them because they made garbage. Yeah, game day o- products MLB.com, uh, game day audio, and RBI baseball. So they were the ones that made that horrible RBI baseball. So they said, oh. if you can't beat them. Give us the MLB The Show because the first one that they're publishing right now is MLB The Show in 2021, and they're still making the trash ass RBI baseball as well for the Switch and all that other stuff with a free gift. I don't know what the fuck the gift is, probably a hand job because that shit sucks. Anyway, yeah, they've been making MLB since. Oh, you got your real talk. They've you been guys, making you MLB guys. since 1997, and they all have been on PlayStation. The first game to ever be on Xbox is this game. Yes. So they've been doing MLB since 1997. Now, PlayStation's first game was MLB 2006. But the pre- the pre- the prior games to that, so from 98 to 2005, those games, games yeah. those games have were still being developed exclusively mm-hmm. on PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, and that was man. from that was when that was when a third party studio was making the games. It was still being made only on PlayStation. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. by 2000, 2001, 2002, uh, Xbox was already oh, out, here it is. and they still weren't getting those games. So you know, people that like to say, you know people that like to say, oh well, you know, uh, they were getting they were getting the price. No, it was always on PlayStation, which makes them not putting in the effort. 
that much more, that much worse. Because it's always, baseball was always PlayStation. People got to understand, MLB, yes, is a baseball game, but the show is a PlayStation owned IP. No the different, show. like I said on Spider Man. I understand it's, what you're it, saying with the show. We can't we can't be using the license thing. It's thinking just because a game is has licensed products in it, like the characters and stadiums and stuff like that, doesn't mean that a a, a, a publisher or a platform like Sony can't own their own specific game using that stuff. Just like so you're gonna tell me that PlayStation doesn't own the IP Gran Turismo because there's licensed cars in it. Let's use some common sense here, people. Mm. What is going, yeah, what is I going what on? I what you're saying with mm. the game is the show, and meanwhile, the license is the MLB, because they basically could say, MLB, keep your license, and we'll make the show, but we'll put, like, you know, the, the kids from the, no we'll put the dudes from the Sandlot have... in there and some bullshit like that, yeah, or we'll use, like, another... Exactly. Yeah, it's, and also yep. similar to, like, M- uh, similar to... Um, I, I see what you're saying because I, I, I the other thing was the other one, a two K NFL two K where they couldn't get the NFL. I mean, not the NFL license, but two K football. Um, they made the, they had the the game, the engine, and the game is their NFL is their game, the two K sports, the two K uh, football. When they tried to bring back the football, but they couldn't get the NFL license because EA took it exclusively from it. So like, yeah, I see. Yeah, and, the thing and, is, I'm I'm looking at it right here. PlayStation own IPs, MLB the show. You know what I mean? Like you, you guys haven't you haven't shown me a link yet, uh, Ravenflow. That's my guy too, Ravenflow. That's my dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. waiting Shout for, out to Ravenflow. Yeah, I'm wait. I'm waiting for the link. You, you're saying a lot of stuff, but show me something to prove me wrong because I know you can't. But it's cool. It's but I want you to prove me wrong. Fifty dollars on the line, Raven. You Dude, get searching. We're, we're doing big. The guys table just turned into the freaking poker table. Holy shit! Hell yeah. <laughs> We're doing we're wheeling a line. deal in here. Motherfuckers throwing out the aces and whole holy hey, shit. Hey, you know what? I'm feeling confident. I believe in my boy Barry. I'll even throw in 50. Yeah, because yo, oh, he, he, he's saying, yo, he's no, saying the I house gets ten percent. The house gets ten percent. The grind he's saying, that I, I, he's saying that I made a bad <laughs> argument with, with Gran Turismo because there's licensed cars in it. It's the same argument. It's licensed cars, they just like it's licensed baseball players and stadiums. Yeah, they own the game. The game but, the, yes, but they, they don't own, the, own game. the game Gran Turismo. It don't mean you don't. You're not making no sense. Yeah, Mazda can't say we're gonna make a Mazda game and they're gonna take Gran Turismo from Sony and say like it's it's Gran Turismo well, no, Mazda. It's not no. gonna work. Yeah, they give you the license. Besides, yeah, those, but, those, what, those, but what those, what Mazda those. can say though is like, oh, we don't want full destruction in our yes for damage in our car. Yes, in, I would hate game. that. Yeah, yeah, that's what they can say. Yeah, but it's. It's still it's still a PlayStation IP. And you gotta remember the, the MLB name, the name and the likeness of those cars. And you gotta remember too, the MLB license. they got their players association. I, th- I don't know if MLB does players association, but I know there's the NH. I remember NHL had the NHL PA and the NHL. Like you get an NHL license in some early games where they'll have the teams, but they won't have the players. And then they had to get the NHL PA license where the players were in the game. So like I don't yep. know if MLB is the same, but yeah, it's that uh, was the whole that was the whole issue with um. With the NCAA football yes. game, they got the end. Yeah, they and, get and the they're coming, there. and and those they're bringing those games back with just not the likeness of the players. Exactly, because they got to pay the players. Two K NCAA, yeah, yep, yeah. Sam Sam C T M. He asks, uh, does Sony make anything out of the Xbox? Sony makes the game. It's their game. The Xbox version is made by what Sony. Is, is created the developers yeah. uh Sony so, San Diego to go way back after the the bets are on Ravenflow keep looking on the internet you got some money on the line the grinds house became the betting house holy shit that's what happens when you get Persona and J Barry on here man we wheeling yes, and sir. dealing holy shit we got the wheeling and dealing going on here but the whole point is is that I I just want to bring it back to what you were saying and the fact is like Sony's developing this game even though MLB's publishing it for uh for the other platform the thing is is like I thought, and and I remember when this was announced, I was like, oh, Sony's probably going to have some perks. Like, maybe have this game early access. Like, maybe play it 10 days early or four days early on PlayStation because they have, they're making it. Why don't they put a perk because they're making it and then put it over there? So, like, I thought the same way as you. Like, I thought maybe, you know, Sony would make it like a four-day early access or something like that with the $90 edition or some horse shit like that. Uh, But instead... Phil wheeled and deal, man, and, and, and did that. And the reason why I want to bring that up is, like, I think the way, and I think the same thing, too, with, with, with Outriders, 
I think this is you said it's a it's a um you know it's a, a tough move it's a big move right and I think it's a move that you can make when you're not the dominant platform for the sales like I think it's a it's a it's a it's a, a underdog move like if you you come up and then go hey th- this is what I'll say in my thing like maybe they saw the pre-orders and I think the same thing for outright you can say thing maybe they saw the pre-orders and then go hey it's not really like, you know, look at the sales of the Outriders, like 52% at 17%. If you're the publisher looking, going, okay, wait, our game, about 70% of our game is being purchased on a PlayStation platform pre ordered, and about 30% or 20%, of the low percentage is on the Xbox. Now Phil Spencer pulls up his friggin' Phil Ness car, knocks on your door, and goes, hey, we don't, our pre order numbers are not up there. Here's some money. We'll buy the difference. And but in 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 that deal, we want you to put the game in our service. Now again, we don't know how long MLB the show is gonna be there. It could be there a month, it could be there the whole season. Shit, it could end at the all-star break. I don't know. They don't put their dates of when it ends. Same thing with Outriders. Is Outriders there? They're not yeah, there indefinitely. Those games are those games are going to be in there temporarily. So. Yeah, just like the Borderlands Three and stuff. They, it runs just like PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now just tells you when it's going to be out of there. Microsoft doesn't, and that's they probably do, a way to keep you subscribed. But the thing mm-hmm. is, is like when you have an underperforming, when you're the underperforming console, not performance wise, not not graphics wise, but like in sales wise. You can now go over there and use Game Pass as an incentive. And I think the big incentive for both of them was getting it on the phones. Because Microsoft comes over there and go, hey, we're on all these Android phones. A billion people out there. Who doesn't like baseball? A billion people could see baseball on their phone through xCloud and try it. And also, uh, all of our Xbox you know, fans haven't seen baseball before and they could try it. And you go up there, and it's like, oh, well, if that doesn't ha- help you, look in this bag of gold right here. Now do you think they could try it? Sure. And therefore, it is an underdog move. It's a move that you can do if you don't have a performing console. Now, if Sony goes over to MLB going, MLB, we want to put your MLB to show in PlayStation now, day one. MLB goes, bullshit. Well, like, Sony's probably, like, Jim Ryan kind of goes, like, Jim Ryan, blame him. He's not in a position to be like, all right, let them cancel their pre-orders, let them get them on PlayStation Now. That's not, PlayStation Now is not Sony's future. Selling you the big game, the games for $60, $70, the sales and all that other stuff, that is the upfront guaranteed money. Subscription gaming is not guaranteed. It is the long game, but you got to put a lot of extra effort in there to make that your main place of revenue, and you see the sacrifices that Microsoft has to make in order to get this Game Pass. They're basically creating a civil war within themselves of trying to tell an Xbox Gold member to become a Game Pass and squeeze $10 more out of them. Sony doesn't Mm -hmm. want to cancel all these pre-orders. They got 60% of the orders on their platform. They're not going to go there and be disruptive. Like, Xbox is being disruptive. And say, cancel your pre-orders, just go to... PlayStation Now for, for, for $10 or $5 a month. Even PlayStation Now will probably go up in price if that's the method that they're going to go. So, like, it's a move. It's a smart move. And I think it's a smart move that Microsoft had to make because the game was going to get the exposure that it needed. Now, maybe MLB had some expectations. Maybe they're like, hey, Xbox got a big, great game to show. Everybody knows about it. It's an exclusive game. They're getting it on Xbox. Let's see those numbers blow up. And it really didn't because those guys are used to not having a good baseball game. So maybe it just didn't. They're like, eh, whatever. I don't care about baseball. Like they're co- The people that cared about baseball bought a PlayStation. Because you said 20 yeah, fucking years. Yeah. If you're into baseball, you bought a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. So, I, mean, I have a friend of mine. He only plays sports. Madden, NBA 2K, and MLB The Show. Those are the only games that he plays. And he... Only plays on PlayStation because the show, like, not that's not the only reason why he owns the PlayStation, but um, he would always ask me why you couldn't get the show on the Xbox because he had friends that had Xboxes, and I would try to tell him like it's a 
PlayStation. You can it's an exclusive game of play. He couldn't understand it um being exclusive, I guess, because he was so used to Madden and NBA two K being on everything. So Yeah, I know. It was very confusing that yeah. the baseball game is there, but like mm-hmm. like what you said, the thing is is that the people that really care about baseball, like the show has built up such a reputation. Like it is definitely one of the mm-hmm. biggest selling like it's one of the biggest selling sports games. Like it's always charted and stays up there. Because uh, of exclusivity. Before, yeah. Every time a new MLB comes out, uh, the PlayStation MPDs is always in the top 10. Yes, I've noticed yeah, that. It's, yeah. always, it's, always, it's always in the top 10. Yep. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, last year it was the, 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 the 18th best-selling game yeah. on all platforms for MPDs. So and they didn't have a freaking baseball season either. <laughs> I remember, remember MLB, they make a lot of money off of that microtransaction. No different yes. than, than, than Madden and, and 2K. And that was, cards yo, well, Jay, that was awesome because I wanted to say that too. The show technically is like a service game because they use that VC shit with the road to the show. Like they are really, or, or the cards, they're really into that stuff. I know like and when people, you, and people spend a lot of oh, money on Oh, just like the Madden money. cards. Yeah. 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 So People trying to get Barry Bonds and Griffey in them stub cards. Yeah, they spend dude, bad bread. Yes. Yeah, yep. And they and baseball cards, like, you know, come on. That's their OG, like, like basically addiction of collecting baseball cards. Like, everybody's done them. Like, yep. you know, baseball cards. Yep. And now it's just naturally digital baseball cards and guys that you can control. Like, there is tons of microtransactions in MLB The Show. Like, that's why there's the gold edition for $100. It's just like VC. And the road to the show and getting characters and building up your, your legacy teams. And then they got the historical characters in there and putting them in, like, just like Madden. And the thing is, is like having more exposure. That's why this is such a smart move for MLB to be in a, you know, in a service where game pass, where everybody gets to try it out. And also on, I guess on Android phones, as long as that's what they think, which I can tell you that, you know, baseball game though may work on a phone because it's a slow game. Like, I, not gears, but maybe baseball, you know, it might work. And, and they could get, you know, they're looking for that well. They're looking for the person that is going to be sitting there on Xbox going, nah, I'm not into baseball. They're in Game Pass. They see, oh, what's this? They download it and they go, ooh, buy, buy, buy. Oh, I want a new pack. Buy, no, what, buy. What Xbox is looking for, That's they just want to brag about how many people have played the, the show on their oh, platform. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, That's the, the, the first thing they're going to brag about. It's how much people played it. I, I I can guarantee you they're not even going to talk about too much about the microtransactions because that's one. No, thing but that's that, MLB's incentive. You know, I'm just letting you say that's a MLB's incentive for putting it in Game Pass is to try to get those whales yeah. to try to find whale shopping, basically to find that person sitting on an Xbox that got the game for free and now will pay those microtransactions to build up their team because they got the game for sixty seventy dollars. They got it for free in their Game Pass. Now they're like, oh, well, that's $60 now will go into getting my cards. You know, I'm interested in MLB now. Or they buy it. That's MLB's incentive. But you're right. Xbox's incentive solely right now is to grow their subscribers. Like, that is what this is. This is to – and also keep those subscribers retained. You know, that's why I wanted to bring up this point to you guys. You know, the fact that these both these games, Outriders, MLB, the show, both – we're not, the and the thing is is like as much as Microsoft talks and talks about their lineup of games and games coming to Game Pass and it's like all this Game Pass hype, I thought it was really weird how Outriders and the show were announced like two weeks before and basically telling people to cancel pre-orders. Like here's the tutorial on how to cancel your pre-order, and <laughs> and I saw Outriders devs like, yeah. hey, this is nice, and everybody's like, well, I think I'm still gonna buy it. And they're like, thank you very much, like on Twitter, like being all enthusiastic. Like, you don't have to, but that's so nice of you to still buy our game. You didn't like just fucking shaft us in Game Pass. It's like, but like having that kind of disruption, like you would think these if MLB the Show was coming into Game Pass, like what they probably. The way Microsoft talks, I thought that should, that would have been like a January 1st announcement going, we're proud to bring MLB the show this year to Game Pass. Stay tuned. Like, you know, subscribe now in January. It's coming out in April. You know, get a couple months out of people, like, hyping that up. But, like, the fact is, is, like, after you have your, your beta, you have your stuff, same thing with Outriders, now, you're like, it's coming to Game Pass. That's why I think it has to do with the numbers and the uptake and the interest on Xbox just wasn't there. And that gave... Microsoft an easier kind of plus paying the money, but I thought maybe that gave Microsoft some extra clout in going to these publishers and being like, "Hey, put this in Game Pass. I know you don't, you know, 
you know, maybe in Game Pass is more interesting to them because they didn't see the uptake on those platforms. I don't know. But it just seems very disruptive. Like, what do you think? The way this is announced, like, like what Jay Barr was saying, like, this could definitely set the precedent of, like, not to pre-order games or not to buy them because they may come to Game Pass. Like, I'm already seeing people go, ooh, what about May? You know, what about June? You think Resident Evil is going to be in Game Pass? Now that puts that out there. Yeah. What do you think? Like, what do you think it is? Because it is disruptive. That goes back to something that uh, Barry was saying earlier, uh, that mindset. Yeah, when that starts, when that starts creeping up and and, and spreading, this this is what we're getting. Yeah, what we'll get because people like it. It also it goes against kind of pre-orders because people will just pay sixty dollars because I'm getting the show, and then then you know two weeks before like it's coming to Game Pass, and it they have to now cancel their pre-order for Game Pass. Like I just think that it's just a very strange way of like a, a strange behavior. Of that, like you know, the pre-order stuff, as you've seen with Cyberpunk, can get people like they use that pre-order data very. It's not just getting your money, but they count that as a sale. Like you see those Cyberpunk dudes, man, they were basically popping the champagne before the game came out because the pre-order oh, yeah. was so high. That's why the fucking the console versions released in a shitty state. Exactly, they were drinking champagne with the PC. They weren't pre-order. paying attention to that. They were paying the PC and. <laughs> <laughs> they already had console schmucks money anyway, so it was exactly. like, oh, you know, yeah. fuck it, we'll get to it when we get to it. Now we 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 we're we're, we're watching. We all are watching a game being developed live. Exactly, that's what's happening now. They're developing the game while it's in our possession. Ridiculous. Well, Ravenflow has put a link in the chat. M squared, you know the drill. What the hell's this dude? Shut up, man. I'm all right, like, coach. Wait, we'll start these... with Major wait, League wait, Baseball I gotta, here. I'm... I got these people talking. So he put a link in the chat. Let's see what this is. Let's see. Oh, crap. I hit the wrong thing. So he put a link. MLB This Show is no longer a PlayStation exclusive. Will be released on other consoles. Let's see. Sony. So Emma, So Raven Flow is slapping the face to Sony fans. Microsoft gets MLB. So Raven Flow, is this the... Oh, this is the tweet. So this is MLB Communications is the one when they did this. To see, it didn't come from any of one of them. Here it is, December 9th, 2019. Jesus. So the show beyond PlayStation as early as 2021. San Diego Studio has been creating officially licensed baseball video games enjoyed by millions of fans for 20 years, which will feature Chicago Cubs. The studio will be commemorating for its anniversary. The show is officially licensed by the MLB and the MLBPA. So those are the, 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 the guys. Um, so it's just the licensing. Sony Interactive Entertainment. You're, you're talk. You're, you're, we're, we're talking about stuff that we already know. Yeah. That's the licenses. Yes, it's a licensed game, but the That's show the is our own the game. PlayStation the IP, property. Saying the, the game itself yep. is the show. The show, not the MLB license that's used for the game, but the MLB the show is an IP. Is, yeah, is the, I, I don't. Is I don't. Game. I, I don't I know what's, what's hard what to understand. Saying. So this is the. So it says MLB and MLPA, Sony Interactive, and San Diego Studio. Have a multi-year, multi-platform video game partnership extensions, and they just partnered also with the NBA with the, making NBA like being the official console, of the NBA stuff. So I don't yeah, know if they get the league for the league. The thing is, like MLB, PlayStation, they they agreed to a multi-year deal, and they put the game on platform. Obviously, MLB was like probably they're gonna pull the license from the game. Which that would be bad for Sony San Diego because that's what they make. They make yeah. be the show. They'll kill the game basically. You can't really baseball game with no with not the real uh, characters in it. It's gonna be like, what are you gonna turn it into an arcade the end, game? The end. The end of the day is that the show, the game, is a PlayStation owned IP. You can easily yeah. look it up. Just Google PlayStation owned IPs, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop up for you. It's gonna show MLB the shows from whenever they made it from PS2, PSP, all that. Till, till PF till now, you gonna yeah. see it. Now the, the other thing is, and this is one thing I want to ask you guys too. Um, do you think with San Diego Studio now doing this multiplat, does that leave San Diego Studio to make something else besides like now that since like I'm thinking if they're making a bolt of games, like maybe this also opens up San Diego Studio to say, hey, you know what? We're we're gonna use you to make other games. You know, just just kind of like update that. Uh, 
that MLB. Just do a roster update, man, and move on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, kind of don't give you full focus to MLB the show anymore since it's like a multi-plat <laughs> and kind of make something yeah. else. Yeah. Because now, guess what? The thing is, is that if, if I was Sony, I would be like, hey, you know San Diego Studio? Uh, You know what? I know you were working on making this the best baseball game, and I brought people to our platform. Thank you so much for all those years. But you know what? Now that it's multi-platform, and just do a roster update and make this game for well, us. I, I'll tell you, uh, it's like I said uh, last week. Uh, be glad I ain't PlayStation. If MLB <laughs> would have walked into a conference room with that bullshit, uh, with that bullshit contract, I'd have told them fuck off, and I would have told San Diego, "Look, y'all are better than this. Let's go make something better." And it don't got to be a sports game. Straight up, man. Like I'd have been like, "Hell nah, man. Nah. Hell but- no." No, you know what? I cultivated this series. I built this series up. The thing is, thing is, uh, built... Sony San Diego they made other games like we all know, Drawn to Death. That was oh that was shit, Jaffe's by game. Sony oh, San Diego. Shit. Yeah, Jaffe. Uh, Star Blood Arena. That was another game oh. that they did in PS4. Uh, What's Guns this? Up was the early game they did. Oh, Little Big Planet Carden. Yeah, they game better stick they to that baseball. Like, Holy the games shit. I was mod, ra- mod racers. They did too. Uh, oh, you know I like mod racers. Game, Oh yeah, they did those games moderation. didn't uh they didn't sell well. Oh yeah, look at this. I got the, the list right here. So you got all the shows, and then they got Mod Nation races. I like. Oh, I got the PS Vita one. Uh, shout out to that one. Oh yeah, and that I want to ask that too. Mod Na- they made Sports Champions. That was the thing with the move controller. Drunk to death. NBA. Oh, they had NBA license. They made a little big plant carding. Oh, they made Starboard Arena. That was a VR game. Oh, that got me nauseous. Oh shit, they made Pain. I remember Pain. He throw the guy against the stuff. It was like Angry Birds. Damn. Yeah. Uh, they, they they know that baseball. They made some mm-hmm. other games. My nation was pretty cool. But um, but yeah. So like the the, the other thing is is with this um, you know, with, with this this thing. Like mm-hmm. I I do think that again, it's a huge move for Microsoft <laughs> to run the Death Games with David Jaffe. Jesus Christ, that game. But like, so that, it, that game had potential nah, too, they, man. Jeffrey had potential. Oh, you, yo, you beat me to it, man. Yeah, that game had potential. <laughs> yo, we, 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 played, we played it, yeah. Yo, me, yeah, me and Bart was on a heavy. Plus, oh yeah, I had I played that back at PlayStation Experience, like 2015 or 2014 PS, PS PlayStation Experience. I had played it and talked to the developers because they were talking about making it more COD like. Like they were asking people, "What would you want?" And um, some dude, some dude was like, "Oh yeah." You know, I think I would like it better if it was more like COD. And I'm like, hell nah. Every game don't need to be COD. I, I like it. It's it's, yeah, it's third it, person. It's dope. I like the it game. It's still too. It's still, yeah, it's still oh, a lot yeah, of skill the game. Too. Yeah, you, you, you know, only, Persona 2? This this goes to your point that you always say, man. These services don't be saving these games. People always talk about putting in a service to save the game. That game launched in PS Plus. And PS yes, Plus. it did. Yep, and people yeah. still wasn't playing it. Well, still died. They still wouldn't play it. It's good because great games sell. The thing is, yeah, service game will not... Like, if a game is not good, like it won't be saved by the service. Like, And if a game is just not interested... If there's no interest, then it's not going to be saved by the service. Like, th- that goes to the point of the whole, like, with Gears and all that other stuff. Like, Gears 5 was on more devices than anybody could think of with phones and 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 PCs billion PCs out there and 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 mm-hmm. on everything and Gears 5 had less legs than Gears 4 and Gears 3 before that like yep. it just shows like th- being accessible to everything doesn't necessarily yield you know the baby this kind of well, stuff like you know it doesn't well, this, yield this success is, this is what i've said as well um regard you know, I I I hate because you know we always make this joke, especially when it comes to Xbox. But you know, let's let's compare it to cable for a second, right? Mm-hmm. And and stick with me here. Yeah. Um. How many of us back in the day? Now, if you still got cable, you know, whatever. You know, how many of us have had? I remember. I can remember back to a time when I did have cable. You know, two thousand two thousand uh, channels, right? Still nothing to watch. Still nothing <laughs> that I want to watch, right? The same thing with Game Pass, right? Game Pass is, uh, you know, people like to put a lot of high praise on Game Pass because, you know, it's got all these these games and things like that. But the biggest question that people forget to answer or ask themselves, are these games that you want to play? That's what's important here. A lot of people, they, they, you know, they praise Game Pass because it's it's putting a lot of great games into the service. And listen, you know, I'll I'll definitely give kudos where kudos is, is, is... you know warranted right you know mm. play uh xbox is definitely 
going above and beyond. But for a lot of its community, are these games they want to play? And, you know, I, no. <laughs> you know, before, but, but you know, Outriders is, if anything, Outriders is the most perfect example of this. Prior to it being announced as it was in Game Pass, Outriders was a piece of shit game that no one wanted. It's dead on arrival. Mm. It goes into Game Pass. It's the second coming of Jesus. Well, you yeah. know, uh, it, it's unmatched. Well, it, yeah. Now, now they want to play it and 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 get into the game. The game was pre-ordered for me months ago. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm, my excitement is genuine, and not to say that everyone who gets excited about it is not genuine, but there's a lot of artificial excitement. And it's not about the game. They're not excited about the game. They're excited about the service. A lot of people on Twitter, their excitement about games going into Game Pass is not genuine excitement for the game. It's the excitement that Game Pass gets another game in their service, another talking point. Yeah. How's that? How's that right? How's that well, fair? That, that that no, I totally agree. Like, and that's why I'm. Yeah, I agree that the fact is is like. The and that's why I didn't care about Outrising there. But the thing is, is I I kid more. Well, I felt that the message that they were doing by putting Outrising, the message by putting BMLB in there, that it, it's definitely a shift for Game Pass because Game Pass really was still getting hyped up with old like old ass games, indie games, and it's like they don't have the games that people want to play. Now MLB the Show going in there, I think is like the first big game that's like whoa. Like Outriders, I think was was a whoa. But MLB is like a whoa, like because that is a high quality game going in there, and I think that's why you know I heard you know the, a lot of Sony guys and stuff. It is definitely like it hurts a little because it's like whoa, that is like a high quality game because we've been playing it for twenty years, and that is going into a, a dirt service that you know that's really just not getting the respect that it it, it needs to earn its respect, and you yeah, kind of yeah. you you kind of pulling from you know the quality of Sony and putting it in your service without making your own shit. And yeah. and I understand that because it's definitely a, a, and it's a smart move because they are trying because the thing is is that in order to get Game Pass subs, they need to kind of put the Call of Duties and the sports games. They need to kind of get those people in because those are the people they're marketing to, the casuals. They're marketing to the people that just play the baseball game a year. Subscribe to Game Pass and just play baseball. Maybe you'll download, uh, you know, a Lucky's Tales while you're at it. But you're in here for Game Pass and you're in here for baseball. You know, they are definitely, Microsoft is taking the bar of gaming, and this is why it grinds my gears a lot, is that they're taking the bar of gaming and instead of elevating it and showing us the potential of gaming and the future of gaming, they're drop, they're lowering the bar. They're making it more accessible. They're making it cheaper. They're making it ex like on more devices that it doesn't need to belong on a five inch phone. I'm trying to use yeah. the phone. They're basically cheapening gaming. They're basically doing what Apple did with one dollar games. And and when they bought them out the store and everything was ninety nine cents, you put a game on Apple Store for five ninety nine. Holy sh! What what? 99 cents of games. So what they did is they said, no, what, bitch? You went to 99 cents? Now we're going to go free games, but now we're going to get you on the back end with microtransactions. That's how they oh. absolved the bottoming out because everybody just wanted to put their app on there and get that exposure. So they all dropped to the bottom, 99 cents. You can't go any lower than 99 cents, so now you go free. But now I get that's the invention of microtransactions. And now wait an hour oh. to get your gem to do your thing. That's where I feel yep. that Phil is taking gaming is that he's taking Xbox instead of bringing it up to the tier to meet up a PlayStation and have them battle it out. And we're in the middle getting amazing games on both platforms and it's worth to own them. One is doing that with Sony with elevating its games and Microsoft is taking their, their stuff and saying accessible only 15 bucks uh, like like midnight like infomercials uh, only five easy payments and this and everything's like falls apart when you get it at home and it's like and it's like you're, you're cheapening my hobby you know i appreciate yeah. I, I you know and that's the thing where now you get a high quality game from sony and now it's going in there and it's like well i'm glad they're doing it you know because it definitely makes game pass stock getting out there but the problem is is that you can't keep doing that you're going to have to eventually demonstrate it yourself because Game Pass, no matter what they do, is going to live and die by those 23 studios and what Microsoft puts in there. If those studios do not deliver, 
Game Pass and Xbox are the way to Dodo Bird because that is their bet. They cannot keep buying other people's content or putting other people's content in there for a month or two. And, and they're just pacifying the situation. They're doing the Ninja and Shroud move that just basically makes their numbers look good for a little bit and then it goes away and they hope people forget about it. So the thing is, is like this was a balls move from them that they did it. And now it does create this thing is like, are they going to do more of this kind of stuff going forward? Like, I think they needed to do. Uh, I just want a bit more confidence that to me that this is the way they're going to go because it still seems very like reactive or just kind of not very, not, not very planned out. It just seems kind of random. And like a lot of this stuff, like the backwards compatibility, we haven't had an update in over two years of new games of backwards compatible. They said they were going to wait until the X launch. Now they announced backwards games, like old games on X cloud, the 12 that they announced originally. But they haven't added new backwards compatibility games. And, you know, as an add-on topic, I want to just say with this thing, what do you guys feel about the PlayStation closing its stores down with the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita and the whole, like, backwards, like, you know, the whole, like, cherishing old games or, like, access to old games and stuff like that? Like, what do you feel about them shutting those stores down? Oh, man. Um... I don't have an issue with the shutting the stores down because they do have a way where you can play the games, yeah. you know. Uh I would just like I would just like them to update or have a way where we can play those games on the PS5. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it you know, we're already on the PS5, we're playing the PS5. Yeah, I have my PS3, I have my PS4, you know, I have my Vita and my Vita TV, but you know what I mean? I, I think it will be for PlayStation to have something set up where they can play their PS3 library, PSP, PS Vita, PS1, PS2. You know, if, if you can buy on the store, in the PS Store, or through PS Now, man, because that's what PS Now was eventually yes. for. Yeah. Like I said, I, I told people a, that. You think that's in the future for them? Or you think something's going to happen on the back end that they're doing this I, with the intent to put this in a now i think so i think so i saw a patent the other day was talking about uh yeah adding trophies What's to name like the longest time hip-hop like game older like, games yeah, but yo i i went i went i remember when we went to psx and you know what i mean i went to the ps the ps now booth you know they had a, they actually had a ps now booth <laughs> and i went to it and i spoke to the people you know I, mean? I forgot the dude's name that was there uh he left a long time ago, but I forgot some some Dave Young or something like that. And I spoke to the people, and I was like, they were telling me, yeah, PS PS One, PS Two, you know, um, all that stuff is going to be in the in PS Now. That's that's what we're generally building up to to have. But that's been 2015. It, we're yeah. 2021 now, you know what I mean? And we still yeah. haven't seen that stuff. Yo, what's up, but, you know, with, with Sony, with Sony, they they're very slow with that stuff. But hopefully, I, I would like them to, you know, you having the store closure on the, the specific devices, right? But also have something in place as well there. But, yeah. you know, it's it's PlayStation. They're very slow with that stuff, man. So, mm. it is what it is. What do you think, Persona? Uh, I mean, me and Barry are probably really on the same page with that. I, I It's really much the same thing. Yeah. Um, my, my whole thing, you know, on the PlayStation side, you know, I, I agree that, you know, preservation is important. When mm-hmm. it comes to old games and and maintaining the legacy of what made PlayStation great, but there's two arguments, and some uh, a lot of times people negate these or or they dismiss it because you know when we're comparing this to Xbox, Xbox don't got a whole lot of back compact games either. Yeah, they got yes. a, a, a a large selection, mm-hmm. but it ain't the entire the entire fucking library. No, the it's thing not. That it's people twelve games, twenty games on the OG. Yeah, the, the 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 thing that people need to understand is this. I asked the question of, yes, PlayStation does need to do a better job of preserving their games. And when I say their games, I mean their IPs that they own. The question I ask people is, whose job is it to preserve the third-party games, right? PlayStation preserving their games and their IPs, yes, I agree 100%. But when it comes to third-party games, things that are that the other developers and other publishers do, that's their, like, I personally feel like that's their job. That's a good point, yes. there's 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 a lot of red tape and things like that when it comes to contractual agreements Mm -hmm. that, you know, if PlayStation has to go through all this effort of doing all this stuff, that's what is developer doing, right? 
let the developer do it. Let the let the publishers of these games maintain and preserve those games and come to a PlayStation and be like, yeah, man, we want to preserve these games on your platform as well. You know, here's what we want to do, right? Or let it be a mutual coming together. Mm-hmm. The other side of it is um shit, I was on a roll. I just lost my train of thought. The, mm-hmm. the other side of it was that um when it comes to old games, we see the percentages. We've seen the percentages in the past of how many, how much people take advantage of this stuff, right? The other side of it is the community, right? When it comes to the community, man, oh man, do we have some bandwagon, fake outrage, <laughs> misinformation, agenda pushing, yeah. propaganda spreading motherfuckers, <laughs> right? Because you know it, it's Twitter, right? Oh, yeah, twi- yeah. With Twitter, uh, it's it's lights, camera, action. Right. You're oh always on. Right. The cameras are always on you. You're always trying to get likes. You're always trying to get retweets. Like right? this is what society has become now, especially on Twitter, especially on game and Twitter. So what oh, yeah, we see yeah. now is a lot of fake outrage. A lot of people that are just, you know, mad for no reason. They ain't played a PS3, PS2 or PS1 game since 2001, mm-hmm. 2007, whatever. And, 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 you know, they're mad. Right. Yeah. And then when you ask them, well, why are you mad? Oh well, you know, I, I I don't really play these games anymore, but I want the option to, huh? <laughs> you know, I, I I you know I want to know that those games are there for if I wanted to, uh, play those games, huh? Yeah. So why don't you play PS Now? You, uh, or, uh, you don't got a PS Three no more, right? No. All right, so you know, subscribe to PS Now. Oh, it's streaming. That's trash. What? Yeah, but you want to play those games now, like you, you know, it's not the things. best. It's it, it's it's not the best preservation because it's not PS One, PS Two, PS Vita, all that stuff. But you know. PS3 games, which has a lot of great games, uh, you can play those now. Oh, I don't want to. Okay. Yeah. That's so funny. It. DDP in the in the chat, he goes, Xbox marketing is loud, especially when Sony goes silent. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, because it's like, you're right. Like, the thing is, is that there are people that... Well, the thing is, is anybody's going to, like, say if something's getting taken away from them. But, like, not a lot of... Like, they have the data. And and this is the other thing too. Like you said, like there's not a lot of games on Xbox. Like there are some, but it's not like Microsoft has the Xbox OG store wide open and you could go buy any game you want. The same thing with the 360. They don't have it open. And all on top of that, you want to talk about access and stuff. I have Crimson Skies, the original disc. I put it in my Xbox. And guess what? You can't play online. Am I going to go like, yeah. Xbox, you took down the service of uh, Crimson Skies. I can't play online. But Xbox is prosumer thinking about preserving a game. Well, you preserve the wrong part of the game. I don't give a fuck about the campaign. Crimson Skies was online. I want to play it online. Oh, but the servers are down. Why is that? If they believe in the past is the future, then why isn't that fully emulated and online? It's not. And all those Xbox OG games, Conquer, Bad Fur Day, no. Well, Conquer is live and reloaded. Yeah, it's not live. It's only reloaded because you can't play it on live. <laughs> it works. It works, but you can't play. And the yeah. whole thing was the new part of that was the live, was the online. Uh-huh. So all those OG Xbox games were dead to me because none of them worked online because the serve, yeah. they, they turned it down. Didn't they give a game on Game Pass a while back, Battlefront or something, but you can't even play it online? Um, it was one of the original. Oh, yeah, Xbox, yeah, yeah. Battlefront, Battlefront 2. Games. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. You can't play that and online. You can't even use it online, which is the biggest part of that yeah. game. Yeah. I don't, I mean, honestly, this didn't affect me because I never owned, uh, was it Vita? And um, I had PS. Of course, I got PS3, but I never bought anything digitally on PS3. So I still have the PS3 and all my physical games. Um, it would be nice if Sony came out with a way to play these old games on the new console. Um, but if people wanted to play these games, they've had a long time to play them. If they wanted to purchase them. Now, if you still own these digital games, from what I hear, you can still You can still download, download them, which was one of the, the, the complaints. Yeah, and you can do that. You can still download those games. They're just... You yeah right, so they're just not allowing people to buy buy new games own and new games yes. to buy them. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, so that was the big complaint because that was the first thing that everybody ran to. Like what what Persona was saying, like they went, "What about all the games that I bought?" And everybody's like, "Well, what do you think about this digital future now, bitch? You know they're gonna shut down your, your PlayStation Five store and your Xbox store now, and digital future is looking grim." Everybody ran with that, and then it's like. 
everything you bought you could still download. It's just you cannot buy anything new in there. Now, I think that was kind of a hurt to some developers that would put a game because somebody is still developing for the place, the PSP, the Vita. Um, I mean, the PS Vita, and they were just like, hey, that store's shutting down. So they had to like cancel their games or shut down. So I think that was a disruptive if people are still developing for the store, which, you know, I think on the Vita, there was a few developers, but some were really, you know, could got hurt from that because they were making a Vita game. Because I think they were still putting games on the Vita, like that store, and 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 it's a shame that my that Sony killed that freaking that Vita and stuff like that, and not have like a, a replacement for it, um, you know, because that thing was was a kind of an I have one, and it's just like it really is like a cool ass device. It's just those friggin' memory cards, over to, like you're looking at this stupid thing for a hundred dollars and all the stuff you could play on this. That Vita, if they just used S and micro SD cards, it would have blew up. It would have friggin' blew up. And I think they went away from it because of the hacking with the well, no, the P did the PSP use a proprietary card too? I think it did, right? Nah, PSP used micro SD, um, right? Um SD. Yes, because I had the, 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 the only <laughs> reason the only reason why PlayStation went with the proprietary uh memory card is because like the PSP it sold a lot dude it like hacked. a lot of people bought the actual hand um hand, hand handheld yeah but the games people didn't buy because people was hacking them oh my god that's it, I was wondering why because I hacked the shit out of it I'm like no way that was a Vita chip it was an SD my, my friend yeah. used to load it up with all these games yo it worked there was a whole emulation oh my god it was crazy that, that, that was that was the thing with the Vita the Vita it didn't sell a lot but a lot of people bought games. They pirated the, the shit out. Oh yeah, games. well the Vita was only that had no memory card, right? It was all hard drive. Yeah, the the Vita had a very high attach rate when it came to uh, people buying games. Yeah, on it. it was just a weird. But the PSP factor. had a very PSP PSP so well, but then it, it wasn't profitable because nobody yeah. bought games on it. Dude, uh, that launch lineup <laughs> for the <laughs> PSP, I remember, man. Analogy. I was gonna buy that thing. Yeah, I, I I know I Joe bro my PSP. I ain't oh, I fun. did <laughs> shit, man. Oh my god, that thing was like, like every like, version I bought for the P. Can you remember they had the three thousand, the two thousand, yes. the one thousand. Oh, they got yeah. slimmer, so I kept I kept I Yo. kept uh, breaking them joints. <laughs> yeah, and those crazy is like that's when I turned again. Like I was that the PSP experience that I had. Was when I saw Sony just abandon the PSP, and then I was just basically get like hacking the shit out of it. I was like, Sony doesn't support their products. Like I just that's how I felt, and that's why I turned like I was just done with Sony. I never bought a PlayStation Three. I was like, you know what? You screwed me with the PS Vita. Like if it wasn't for my friend downloading these games and giving me these games and shit, like the fact is, is like they stopped making those UMDs and uh, those UMDs. They just stopped making like games for it, and just made everybody else make games for it. Like I felt like Sony really didn't support the PSP at all, and I just took that as like you know I just felt like they didn't really do. And then when I saw the the PlayStation Three, like that kind of gave a bad taste in my mouth for Sony as a gaming brand. That's why I just stuck with Xbox. Because the Xbox, you know, they would do all the support three, and the, you know, they would just be all in your face and shit like that. So, like, I thought Xbox was like, you know, and Xbox Live definitely was like, I felt it was the future, and it was awesome experiences. And Sony just wasn't there with the internet, and that's how I felt back then, you know. But that PSP experience though was like, man, I was so reluctant to buy that thing, and then when I bought it, I was like, there's some awesome games, those UMDs. But then it just kind of dried up, and then we just started hacking the shit. <laughs> You could even emulate everything on there. Like you could use emulators, like and just use NES games and shit on there. It was crazy. But you know, the thing is with the shutting down these stores, like you could download these games, but like the buying the new games, I agree. Like they should probably make these games accessible. Now the thing is, is that you know, like whether they choose some games and put them in the PlayStation now, I think the diff- I think what happened was is that I think Game Pass really push Sony now to be putting more current games in PlayStation now and you, and changing. Because I think you're saying when you went to the PlayStation booth, I think PlayStation now initially was supposed to be this legacy platform to access old games uh, and have them in the cloud. And then I think after that kind of dried up a little bit and they started putting PlayStation 4 games in there, then I think with Game Pass, now they realize that they gotta, they can't be dropping like you know, like some old ass games from a, a, a like you know PlayStation, uh, you know the the PlayStation Three and stuff like that. Now, like they stopped doing it. Like they got PlayStation Three on games, but they haven't added PlayStation Three games in there for a while. 
Yeah. Now they got to kind of put new game, like see Avengers and and you got Avengers and Borderlands three. Like they got to stay and even newer than that, they're gonna have to do that. And I think that's the pivot because of Game Pass. I don't know. Maybe they have like an an old tier or something like that, or I don't know. They got PlayStation three in there, so like they, I, I know, I know if they ever were to drop PS one or PS two games in there. They need I, to I, it, it would be very attractive on PS Now. That like PS Now is attractive in itself now, but yeah. people just have that that first impression. Mm. I never used this service, but streaming is bad type shit that going on with gamers. Because everybody that normally says like, "Yo, but streaming is bad," and you ask them, "Did they use a service?" So I'm not going to use that. Yeah. So, so how, how, you can't tell me your experience. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I know. Like, but, I hate streaming stuff. I, the thing is, is like. I just don't know how attractive it would be if Sony was just saying, like, well, instead of the games that you're going to get now on PS Now, we're going to give you these kind of PlayStation 1 classics. And I I don't know if that would, like, hit as well as, like, putting the Avengers in there or putting Outriders in there or doing, like, trying to get, like, trying to compete against Game Pass. Like, I don't know by putting PlayStation 1 games in there if that's if that will be a nice but i don't know if that's going to be any in ground shaking and stuff they might have to do something different or another tier or something i don't know i just don't know to me it'll be nice to have but if you notice with the playstation 2 they were updating those games to work at 1080p on the playstation 4 they weren't like the original emulated games they were basically yeah, updated yeah, cuz i bought War of the monsters that. and i played that i beat that war of the monsters but the camera controls are kind of wild but that was a fun game cuz i saw the kong and zilla i was like I want to play War of the Monsters, and yeah, I play that and beat another, that. Another another program PlayStation had, and they they cut it loose at PS2 to PS4 games. Yeah, that's because Geo Curse Geo. What's the Corsi? He left though, but uh, oh, is that the guy that went over to uh, make the Predator game? Geo is that the one that? Uh, yeah, he, uh, he that's was who in Big charge Cloud of the talks PS2 to. to like, I remember Big Cloud talking. Yeah, Big Cloud. Yeah. yeah. Geo, because he said Geo, he talked to him a lot about that Predator game, man. I feel, but that was I played that Predator game at PAX. I liked it, and then it just kind of didn't do well. <laughs> like it was just like, ugh, when it launched, I'm like, ooh, like that had so many server issues and shit, and just wasn't. They didn't really do that much to it from there. It was a fun, like, kind of quick game, but like, uh, but yeah, a little hype for that Predator game after PAX, so. But yeah, anyway, but yeah, yeah. So the whole thing with the stores, like, I, I, I think. I do think also, and I agree, I think Persona has an awesome take on it and stating that it's really up to the publishers because you can even see with the backwards compatibility that Microsoft is doing, they couldn't just make everything backwards compatible. They had to go find the licenses. They had to go find who had the, the game, source code, source source code, code. whether the publisher wanted to put it on there. And we even seen some shady practices with backwards compatibility, like from EA and stuff like that, who didn't put like burnout takedown backwards compatible mm-hmm. because they were giving you their remaster well, version to recharge you. Well, mm-hmm. as far as backwards compatibility goes, the Xbox is not even actually backwards compatible. So, um, I mean, the games have to be downloaded digitally from Microsoft before you can play it. You cannot play a game off a disc. Yeah, the disc has the license that triggers internet. the download. Yeah, triggers the download. You have to have an internet connection. So if you don't have an um, internet connection, you can't even play these old games. So, and it's not backwards compatible with a lot of the older titles. Quite a few that I own that I actually tried to play it. They don't even work. So, um, yeah from the original Xbox and I still have original Xbox disc. Of course I have 360 games and there's quite a few of them that won't play on that console. Yeah. Cause they need to have the digital, like they have made the game mm-hmm. digital. Like that's why the disc it's, mm-hmm. I tell you, it was great that they do it. I think it's backwards compatibility program was mm-hmm. awesome. And the other yeah, thing right. too, yeah, I do think that Sony is going to have to do something. I was telling this, I don't mm-hmm. know. I was telling us the link. I don't know. I was telling you about mm-hmm. it or something. I was on the show. I was saying that, you know, eventually, I think it was all my own thing, but eventually, Sony's gonna have to move. Sony's gonna have to put those games probably natively playing on a PlayStation Five because I don't know how Why? long they're gonna run those PlayStation Three consoles I on mean, PlayStation. They don't have now. to. Well, I think the PlayStation Three hardware is running those PlayStation Three games on PlayStation Now. How much right. longer does that hardware is going to last running those games without them yeah, saying, but those, we got to make those work on a PlayStation 5 so PlayStation 5s can run them? Trying to emulate a PS3 is, is well, obviously is, is difficult. Yeah. So um, Sony is um, you know doing emulation at a, 
uh, not emulation. They're doing backwards compatibility at the hardware level for the PS4 um, versus doing it emu- versus emulating. No, aren't they emulating um, the, the, the PlayStation 4? On the no, they're room? not emulating. Didn't remember if you watched the road to the PS5. Uh, they got Mark like the Cerny they got the software of the baked, PlayStation 4 baked no, into it. No, it's baked in at the hardware level. It is so, like they did with PS3 and two. Yeah, well, the chip that they use is it, baked into the hardware level, so they didn't have to put the older chip into the console. They didn't do that. No, um, but they worked with AMD to make sure it was baked in at the hardware level. Um, so. Um, that's so there. There's there's some, but there are some limitations to PS4's um, PS5's backwards compatibility. That's why you're seeing games patched on the Series X and S to run at 120 FPS, where they're not running at 120 FPS on the PS5 because because the P, it's doing it at a hardware level. The PS4 wasn't able to run games at 120 FPS. The cap was 60. So in order for a game to run at 120 on the PS5, it has to be a PS5 game. Yeah, it says here the PlayStation 5 is built partially on the PlayStation 4's architecture to allow native mm-hmm. background backward compatibility. Yeah, yeah that exactly. PlayStation 3 needs to be yeah. fully software implemented. It would so, have to be fully software yeah, emulated, emulated, and that's yeah. that's tough because you have to do that by you have to do that game by game. Well, that's basis. what they did with the 360. So, that's why it was such a huge mm-hmm. feat for Xbox to do that for the backward compatibility. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, you know, it's old games. We all like to play new games. You know, the old games are nice to have. But don't tell me here's a bunch of old games and stop there. Like you know, if you want to, you show me a whole bunch of old new games and these games are coming and we're playing these amazing games. And then you say, yeah, here's you can play this old game if you want. That's nice. That's how I look at it. Like I don't want that to be the 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 deal breaker right there. Like the old games are not a deal breaker because I played those games and. You know, it is up to those publishers and stuff like that. But, you know, respect the backwards compatibility. I hope, you know, they can continue to live on. And if they don't, emulators, like I mentioned in the beginning, will find a way. And you'll be able to play your games if you really want to play them and probably put for free. So don't have to wait. You know, you could probably emulate those games eventually <laughs> moving forward on your own PC. But with that, I want to say we spent over a couple hours here. We've been here for a long time. But I want to thank our, the guests and Link. So let's go do our outros. Hey, Jay Bari, tell everybody where they can find you. And we'll peace uh, yes, out sir, here. man. Yo, good show, um, Jazz man. Uh, I like I like the production value of this show. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> very, very up there. The production value. This is this is a triple A show. Tri- oh, you know I mean? no, not- we don't do triple A. This is a double banger. And actually, we had so many viewers here. We had a double banger because triple A is considered about. 44 uh, 44 people watching because that is the amount of people that work at the initiative. That's AAA. But we're, we're oh, beyond that, so we're double bangers. We're double bangers. <laughs> Yo. But- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. yo, great show, guys, man. Uh, the chat was great as well. Uh, it's always cool to interact and, you know, go back and forth with the, with the chat as well. But, yeah, man, uh, Jay Barry on Twitter, uh, Jay Barry underscore, uh, you can also catch me, What's Up PlayStation Podcast, every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, my boy Persona, uh, Gaming with Persona. And yeah, man, Jay Bari on YouTube, man, if you guys uh, want to check it out. But I'll catch you on uh, whatever the next one is. I don't know. <laughs> we'll catch Yo, man, that's awesome. Persona, where can the grinders find you? Hey, yeah, man. So first off, I want to thank you, uh, Jez, for having me on your show, man. Uh, it's really appreciated. Thank you. Hey, man, anytime, um, man. Your show is great. Both your shows, in... man. I watch you guys all the time. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. To everyone in the chat, man, shout out to you guys as well. Uh, so for me, I am Persona. My YouTube channel is Gaming with Persona, only uh, all one word. Uh, also, if you want to follow me on Twitch, it's at Persona Speaks. So, um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Also, like Barry said, what's up, PlayStation Podcast, every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. with myself and Barry. Uh, and it's a PlayStation-centric show. Uh, we strictly talk PlayStation. Uh, no misinformation, no craziness. It's strictly PlayStation news. Uh, it's a really good show, really good um, conversation, good interaction, and things like that. So uh, if you guys want to support us, that's really great. We're trying to get to 1,000 subs or, uh, by the summer. So if you guys can help us out with that, that'd be great. And, uh, yeah, man, thank you, uh, Link and uh, Jez. Appreciate you guys, and I hope everybody have a great night and be safe. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you so much. And, Link, I know oh, um, you're out there in the Twitter world. Show. I'm out here, <laughs> but, I, you know, no no YouTube channel. 
Um, I'm on Twitter, but I really don't post any tweets. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm not really interested in people trying to find me. They'll find them. And, uh, He'll find you. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, great show. Um, um, glad to be on the show. Glad to be a part of the sh- um, show every now and then when I do get a chance to hop on. Hey, anytime, man. Um, and uh, always glad to have an opportunity to share my opinion with everybody. So Hey, that's that's, that's what you're here for. Yeah, that's that's how I, I just got a mic and just started talking about my opinion and, you know, who wants to listen or whatever. That's that's what it's all about, man. It's everybody's opinion. Everybody has different opinions. People have the same opinions. But you want to know what? It's your opinion. You agree with it or don't agree with it. But, hey, you know what? This is gaming. It's all about it's about the gamers, and that's what we talk about here. And, uh, you know, check these guys out on their channels. They are true diehard gamers and basically – you know, spout out the way it is. Like, you know, it, and if it if PlayStation does some horse shit, they call it out. And, you know, and Xbox keeps doing their horse shit, we always call that out. The thing is, is that it's all about the games. And that's what sh- and that's what it's about. It's about the games. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that's getting talked about affects the games. So that's why we talk about it. Because this is, could be a future that we don't, we don't, may not want. You know, and we always got to kind of keep people in check because, you know, we don't, you can't just go along with the flow all the time. You got to question. You gotta be. You gotta say, is this for me? Is this not for me? Because you know, this is our hobby. This is what we do. This is what we spend the big bucks on, and uh, you know, that's why you know you grind your gears and all that other stuff. But hey, grinders are gamers, and this is the gaming grind house. And I want to thank everybody. We had a huge show today. Huge, a huge group. I you know, hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. And there's gonna be more to come. And just hint out there. Wednesday's my birthday, so I might be doing a birthday stream. I'll be dressed, not in my birthday suit, but I might be doing a birthday stream on Wednesday. We'll see. I'll see if I'm doing something else, but I'll definitely be doing something and uh, you know, this week. But uh, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you're new here, and keep it locked on the notifications on the gaming grindhouse at what grinds my gears. This is Jez7780, and I am out. Thank you again.